We're here live. All the stars from Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling are here. I'm here. WCNX Radio is here. GoPro is here. YouTube is here. And look, Kevin Saban's making an appearance. It doesn't get any better than that. Absolutely not. Diesel Mania 3, come on down, folks. I am the guardian of chaos here tonight at Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling for Diesel Mania 3. Now, standing to the right of me, as you can see, fans, is the king of paradise, Nutrius X. Now, X, tell the fans tonight, because we still don't know here, pre-match, right before bell time, who is the mystery opponent for the king? All hail King X! First of all, the king of paradise don't have to explain anything to these fans. King Nutrius is on the search for the man who screwed him over when he had his Intercontinental Championship shot. I've been in PAPW for two years. Two years. And the very first time I get a shot at a title, someone has the guts to come out and distract your king of paradise. Well, tonight at Diesel Mania 3, we're going to find out who's this mystery opponent. And when I find out, Big Daddy, oh, when I find out, I'm going to punish him. I'm going to punish him. Folks, you heard it. Diesel Mania 3, the king of paradise. Well, there we have it. Oh, glory. Here we are, Diesel Media 3, Kevin Saban, the guardian of chaos. And we even have Bad News Bob as the special timekeeper and ringkeeper. Back up All to right, the board. Saban, Connecticut, are you ready? We got a raucous crowd, Our first Saban. bout of the evening is scheduled for up. one fall. One, one fall! fall! Saban again, I'm excited to be here. We keep trying to get cut off and cut in and cut out. Diesel Mania 3, we're getting ready to open things up. We're here live, folks, come on down. Michael J. D'Angelo, the remembrance for Michael J. D'Angelo. And I'd like to give a big shout out to the East Haven girls softball team that's in attendance tonight. Also, Go Pro Wrestling, WCNX Radio, Frontier Cable, Xfinity Comcast. It doesn't get any better than that. It's a packed house, Big Daddy, as it should be. Well, Saban, that's well said. Uh, back up the match first. From Frog's Neck, New York, he weighed in at 175 pounds. He is the king of paradise, King Nutria. Well, Saban, there he is, the king of paradise, Nutrius X, to open up things here at Diesel Mania 3. Listen, the fans don't like the king. I'm not sure why. I think they should be showing him some damn respect. He is King Nutrius X, the king of paradise, Saban. He may be the king, but he shows no respect to the fans or that crown, Big Daddy. Well, Saban, that's a valid point, but you can't miss with, mess with the king. Let's see what he has to say, Saban. For all you fans, that haven't been keeping up with PAPW last Friday night. I was screwed. I don't know if he could say that. A man Saban. came out with a mask a distracting me. I've been here for two years. And on the very first shot that I get for a title, I get screwed. So you know what? You fans love these PAPW guys, huh? Well, let me tell you something. You obviously can't hear, can you? I'm on a microphone. This show, Diesel Mania 3, ain't gonna start until that mystery opponent who screwed me over walks out here right now. Saban, who is it? Who's the mystery You're opponent tonight for Nutrius Sex? I don't, I don't know, know, Big Daddy, we're about who's to the find out. Wait, wait, Saban! It's... Who's the mystery opponent? I, I, I can't understand what's going on here. Wait. There's... The sign says it's Adrian Vine, Big Daddy. No, no. Is it A.B.? A.B. is Vine. Saban, he's back. From New Britain, Connecticut. He weighed in 
at 185 pounds, in the rising, Adrian Vine! We haven't seen him in a while, Big Daddy. Well, say, but here he is, Adrian Vine. AV is rising to be back here in Paradise Alley for Festival Wrestling, opening up things here at Diesel Mania 3. It's the King of Paradise, Nutrius X, and AV Adrian Vine. Your referee is Slick Willie Bill Thompson. Listen, Saban, the crowd is in a frenzy here at Diesel Mania 3. As is Nutrius X, he does not look happy with his opponent. Well, the fans don't seem to like X. Uh, both men are in tremendous shape. Look at Adrian Vine. Look at the abs on AV. Tremendous shape, AV. And he is rising, Saban. He is. But I don't know if he can handle the king of paradise. Here we go. And there it is, Bad News. Excellent job by Bad News Bob. Beautiful collar and elbow. Adrian Vine with a nice wrist lock into an arm ringer, Saban. Nice reversal. Nice hammer lock. Things are fast and furious. Nutrius X, Adrian Vine here at Diesel Mania 3. Beautiful rollover. Look at the dexterity on AV, Saban. Oh, a lot of flips and flops and flies right there. Nutrius X is trying to get away. Beautiful somersault by X. No slouch himself. Look at him. He is the king of paradise. Nice series of reversals here, Saban. Beautiful they, drop leg hold. They may not like him, but he is the king. Look at this. Both men, well-versed technical grapplers. Look at the strength and agility. Wow. Nice reversal. Into an attempted backslide. Flip over by A.V. Misses with the roundhouse. Beautiful kick by A.V. Off the rope, Saban. Oh, nice Beautiful hurricane by A.V. Far side. Misses in the corner. Nutrius X misses. A.V. underneath. Fast and furious here at Diesel Mania 3. I almost can't call it, Saban. They almost came in our lap, Big Daddy. Beautiful insiguri by AV. Now Nutrius X is taking a powder smart by the savvy veteran. What's AV gonna do, Saban? Oh, he's, he's taking a, a high jog around. Over. Now he's looking to get in. And he's met with a drop kick, Big Daddy. Saban, look at the drop kick there by AV. Nutrius X is right here in front of us. AV's on the ring apron. What's he gonna do? Diesel Mania 3! Holy cromoly, Saban! Oh, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. He set him up. Oh Beautiful my! Kick by AV, right here in front of us, going to the top rope, Saban. He's going up, AV. No, he's back down. Nutrius X is out on the floor here at ringside. The crowd is raucous. Diesel Mania three. He's plotting his next move, Big Daddy. He misses with a double foot stomp. Both men outside the oh. ring, face first into the apron. Oh, Saban, big move, a big back body drop by X on AV. He's gonna try to take over now. Here he is, hooks the leg. He only got one, Big Daddy, only got one. You know what, Saban, I will say this though. Technically sound is Nutrius X. He tried to wrap up the leg. You have to be AV, but you're not gonna get him that quick. Absolutely not, but you're right. He had the leg tucked in. He had the pinfall and the attempted the big way it should be. shots by X here, Saban. Big shots by the King of Paradise. I gotta tell you something, Saban. I am surprised that AV is back here in Paradise Alley as the mystery opponent. I think most people are pretty shocked, Big Daddy. Beautiful European uppercut to the back of the dome piece of AV. Here's the cover. Listen, Another that's one two count. near pinfall, Saban. Only one counts. Laying in a series of rights to the dome of AV. Nutrius X is on fire. He that, is not well liked here in Paradise Alley. I think that's going to mess up Adrian's hair. Well, that's a point well taken, Saban. <laughs> Nutrius X right now taking over and slowing down the pace on AV. AV is no one to be trifled with, but I've seen a change in the attitude of Nutrius X. He is definitely double tough and no one to be trifled with, as I just said. Absolutely. And as I said, you don't become the king without knowing a trick or two. Well, that was a 16-man tournament through Friday Night Alley Fights. Listen, it doesn't get better than Friday Night Alley Fights. Every night down at the facility in Paradise Alley. Beautiful cover. Another European uppercut by Nutrius X. AB's in big trouble. Here's the hook of the leg. This may be oh. it. Oh, getting I almost closer. Said it. Saban, I almost said put it in the books. But it was only a two count by X. X is now arguing with Slick Willie. 
He shouldn't waste his time doing that. He's got to stay on his man. Well, Saban, there's a thin line between genius and insanity, and I think I've just erased it. <laughs> Nutrient sex is choking out AV. Now look, Saban, this is a big mistake by Nutrius X, pandering and playing to the crowd. This is not what he should be doing against a, a competitor like AV. He's supposed to be wrapping up and trying to go for the victory. I agree, Big Daddy. That was a lot of wasted time there. It's a lot of wasted time. I am surprised that X, he usually does not oversight that. He doesn't play to the crowd. Look at him, look at the look of disgust on the face of Nutrius X, the king of paradise. And here, the fans, the fans are in a frenzy. Opening up here, Diesel Mania 3. A big knee to the gut of AV and slows him down. Oh, he oh, slapped him, Saban, right across the face. That was a total disrespect. Misses with the clothesline, far side by AV. Big clothesline. Back elbow. Another drop kick. Another beautiful drop kick, Saban. You called it correctly, Saban. Here it is. What's he going to go for? Back elbow by X. Another back elbow. Third back elbow. Nutrius with the block. Oh, into a fireman's carry. A standing fireman's carry. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do with AV? X has him up. The king of paradise. And he just he dumps just him like them. yesterday's news, like yesterday's garbage. Wait, wait. Uh, there's Who's somebody out here. There's somebody Who else is this out here. mystery man here at ringside? Wait. X is distracted by this. Wait, it's Gino from the Sexy World Order, his former partner. I can't believe it. Gino's out here. Oh, AV is right behind him. X better pay attention. Gino's out here. Oh, here it is. AV catches X by surprise. Beautiful He's backbreaker. Him back he has breaker. him up, Saban. Oh, Face this first. is going to be it. Here's the cover. One. Put it in the box, AV. AV, here's your winner here's over Nutrius X. The rising Adrian Bond. Saban, I am shocked and stunned. Gino from the Sexy World Order came out of nowhere. He distracted his former partner, the King of Paradise, Nutrius X. AV took advantage of it and gets the victory, Saban. And Nutrius is just dumbfounded. He is in the middle of the ring. He's crushed. He's crushed. I, uh, AV While AV and Vine right celebrate. Well, listen, Saban, he is on the rise. This was a huge, huge victory for Adrian Vine over the King of Paradise. Folks, it doesn't get any better. Here we are, Diesel Mania 3 for Michael J. D'Andro. And remember, we have a big show tonight. Richard Holiday is here. JT Dunn is here. The anticipated rematch between Showtime Marshall Williams and Mick Drake. It doesn't get any better than that. Diesel Mania 3. I am the guardian of chaos here live tonight at Diesel Mania 3. Standing to the right of me is Amish rookie sensation, Zachariah Gibbs with the gold he's churning butter now gibbs we already spoke to your opponent tonight andy bivens and i gotta say he's looking pretty good gibbs we're all proud of you you're the rookie sensation you're the champ diesel mania three let him know gibbs i don't know can you say anything in amish i don't know i'm just happy to be here uh, under the bright lights of diesel mania three i'm happy to be intercontinental champion and just to have this title, my butter churn, I don't think anything can stop me. He's a man of few words, the intercontinental champion, Zachariah Gibbs, Diesel Mania 3. Standing to the right of me is Andy Bivens. Now tonight, Bivens, here at Diesel Mania 3, your opponent is the Amish rookie sensation, Zachariah Gibbs. I want you to tell the Paradise Alley fans, I want you to tell the country what Andy Bivens is going to do tonight to Zachariah Gibbs. You see, for him, it's not gonna be any paradise. Tonight, I look to expand Bivian's enterprises internationally. You see, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk in, I'm going to defeat Zachariah Gibbs, and I will be the new PAPW Intercontinental Champion. There will be no paradise. There will be luxury. There will be motor cars. There will be lights. There will be all of that <laughs> when I'm the champ. Folks, tonight, Andy Bivens, Zachariah Gibbs, Diesel Mania 3. Don't you dare miss it. 
Our next contest is scheduled for one fall. One, one fall! fall! And it is for the Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling Intercontinental Championship! Well, here we go, Saban. It's the big one. Or one of the big ones, I should say. It's the rookie Amis sensation who caught everybody by What's surprise. Up? Everybody What's here up? at Paradise Alley. Yes. He yeah, is so. the Intercontinental yeah. Champion. And here he comes. The rookie Introducing sensation. Introducing first, from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, he weighed in at he one that half pound. Well, Big Daddy. He is the Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling Intercontinental Champion, Zachariah yeah! Well, Saban, there he is with the omnipresent, ever-present butter churn, the Intercontinental Champion, and Zachariah Gibbs. Hey, Saban, I think he's churning some butter right now. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. I think he is. I, I hope that's what he's doing in there, Big Daddy. Well, indecision may or may not be the problem here, Saban. <laughs> This ought to be a great match up here. Uh, this gentleman coming to the ring now is someone we're very familiar with. Introducing next, his opponent from Flushing, New York. He is the Weighing CEO. in at 210 pounds, he is the CEO of Vivian's Enterprises, Andy Vivian! Well, Saban, here he is, Andy Vivian's. It doesn't get better than that. He is pure class in a glass. And this will be Zachariah Gibbs, one of his toughest tests to date since just recently winning the Intercontinental Championship at Friday Night Alley Fights. Yes. It doesn't get better than this, Saban. We are Diesel Mania 3 in remembrance of Michael J. D'Angelo, Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling. The crowd is clearly, clearly behind Zachariah Gibbs, the Intercontinental Champion. Your referee, Saban, Jay Mendez with the gold. Wait, and Gibbs, Gibbs, I'm not churning any butter over here. I don't know if Gibbs thinks I'm churning any butter. Why is he giving it to me? Get that out of the way over here, Saban. I don't know what's going on here at Paradise Alley. And there it is, Jay Mendez is handing over the gold. Andrew Bivens, Zachariah Gibbs. Diesel Mania 3, bad news Bob, it's about time he got it right. I don't know where the hell they found this guy. <laughs> All right, folks, the crowd is in, a, is in a near chaos, no pun intended, all for Zachariah Gibbs, Saban. He's got this crowd eating out of the palm of his hand, Big Daddy, they love him. Uh, he certainly does, Saban. Look at that, Bivens, uh, very quick. Uh, listen, I'll give the youth and exuberance to Zachariah Gibbs, but I'll give the experience uh, and the strength advantage to uh, Andy Bivens from Bivens Entertainment. Well, it's hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, Saban, I could have been wrong. Uh, it's hard to measure Zachariah's strength. You know, he tosses those cows around. Well, Zachariah is country strong, so I may have to take that back. Uh, we might go out cow tipping later on, Saban. Could be. Beautiful collar and elbow by Bivens and Zachariah Gibbs. Bivens representing Bivens Entertainment. Nice side headlock by Bivens, but talking to the crowd, Saban, I don't like it. Nice reversal by Gibbs. Into a nice hammer lock, into a nice side headlock, into a nice rollover. Listen, Saban, Zachariah Gibbs is trained by Paul Roma. It doesn't get any better than that. Former four horsemen, pretty wonderful, power and glory. That's why Gibbs has come so far, so quickly, so fast. Absolutely, Big Daddy. And as I say that, a nice uh, head scissors, leg scissors here by uh, Andy Bivens. Here at Diesel Mania 3. Both men back to the feet. Bivens with the side headlock, Saban. Bivens slowing it down. Now look at that. Oh, that's that's classic wrestling by Zachariah Gibbs. Take out the hamstring, take out the back of the kneecap of Andy Bivens. Excellent wrestling by Zachariah Gibbs. Absolutely. He didn't learn that on the farm. Far side. Beautiful rollover by Gibbs. Here's the pin right in front of us. Only a two count and Bivens ended up in the ropes. Nice arm drag by Zachary Gibbs. Another deep arm drag by Gibbs. Wait, he goes for the third. Oh. Bivens caught him. Into a reverse hammer lock. A beautiful Japanese uh, underlying suplex. I don't even know if I called that right, but here's the pin. You know what Bubba Ray Dudley said to me one time, Saban? Give Big Daddy seven spots, he'll screw up six of them. <laughs> 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 That's what 
That's coming from a Hall of Famer. I'm proud of that, Saban. <laughs> oh, Bivens taking over with a nice judo chop to the throat of Zachariah Gibbs. He slowed that pace right down, and he is in control right now. Well, you can nice see forearm shiver. A nice four. Oh, he's stealing my line, oh. Saban. A nice forearm shiver. Oh, into a small package. Here it is. Oh, I almost said it again. A nice had small a three package. Count. Big hip toss by Zachariah Gibbs. Another big Another hip one. toss by Zachariah Gibbs. It shook the churn here ringside, Saban. Wait, wait for the body slam. He missed it. Bivens pulled his hair. He's pulling his hair. Hey, I will say this, Saban. Big Steve Tracy's got nothing on Zachariah Gibbs' hair. Look at the hair on Gibbs. Oh, Here's the cover. That's quite the quaff he's got. That is quite the quaff. Only a two count from Bivens. Listen, we're here on September 29th. I feel like I'm in the Mojave Desert. It's about 100 degrees in here at Dieselmania 3. Bivens taking over on Zachariah Gibbs here, Saban. In this heat, Big Daddy. Oh, he's twisting his neck like he's a scene from The Exorcist. Holy cromoly. I hope I we don't see you, Peppa. Soup. Yeah, you're right about that. Look at that. I think Bivens gave a little curtsy there, Saban. Did he do the curtsy? He did. That's the second time, Big Daddy. And he's also doing one of my favorite maneuvers back when I was in a ring. A nice boot to the face. Here's the cover. Only a two count. Listen. Zachariah Gibbs may be country strong, he may be Amish, he may be from the outback, whatever you want to call it, but you're not going to pin him that easily. No. He's got a lot of fight in him. Big back elbow in the corner by Bivens on Zachariah Gibbs. What's he going to do here, Saban? Looks like trying he's to going lock him up. That to... Fisherman suplex, but nice Zachariah ball, blocking Saban, it. The old fisherman. Look but the huge forearm clubbing blows to the back of Zachariah Gibbs. Cross side. Misses with the clothesline. Goes for the roll up, he misses. Big clothesline right there. Monster Danny. clothesline from Bivens. Here's the cover. Bivens nearly decapitated Zachariah Gibbs, and I don't like to say those kind of words. I don't care about the FCC. They can throw us off the air. I'm on the Mario Chaos show. I don't care about that either. I, I, listen, Saban, I get a little carried away here in the broadcast booth. Roma has to calm me down. I was going to say, I think he rang his bell, but I was afraid the guy next to us would actually ring the bell. <laughs> Point well taken. Misses in the corner. Big clothesline by Gibbs. There it is. Oh, he's Here's turning. Turn. Another clothesline. Gibbs is on fire. He's in fuego. It's his turn. Big scoop. Big body slam. Gibbs. Look at him. I think he's having a seizure. No, oh, wait, wait. No, That's the Amish turning. Turn. Oh, here he goes. What's no. he going to do? He set him up. He's going he's for go that He's going to go for the Amish move. wheelbarrow. He's going for the wheelbarrow, Big Daddy. Here it is. Face first Not goes Bivens. Face down. Bivens Entertainment is closed. Here's the pin. That's Put it in the box. Zachariah Gibbs retains the title. Here's your winner. And still. Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling Intercontinental Champion, Zachariah Gibbs! Well, Saban, there he is. He retains the Intercontinental Championship. Zachariah Gibbs, still the Intercontinental Champion over Andy Bivens, a more than worthy competitor. Bivens Entertainment has closed here at Diesel Mania 3. And Saban, Say something about Zachariah Gibbs. There he is in all the you, know, you know what, Big Daddy? Zachariah won on Friday Night Alley fight. He defended the next week, I believe the following week, and now at Diesel Mania. He's a fighting champion. I give the kid a lot of credit. You are right about that statement. He is a fighting champion. And there he is. Bad News Bob gave over the turn to Zachariah Gibbs. And there's Gibbs with the turn and with the belt. Hey, listen, I think we're all going cow tipping. I am the Guardian of Chaos, representing Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling tonight, Diesel Mania 3. And folks, standing to the right of me are a group of men that are going for the Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling Tag Team Championship tonight. Zafar Al-Rahihi, Maxim Morozov, and their manager, Abdul Haq. Now, Haq, 
gentlemen, let the fans of Dieselmania 3 know what's going to happen tonight when you face their house, their rules. The house of pain. Their house, their rules. I'm just uh, saying, Hawk, that's ha, all I'm saying. We will see about that. House of pain, my pyramids of power and I have faced you numerous times. However, tonight you are facing a brand new team of the Far al Rahihi and Maxim Morozov. Collusion are coming for your PAPW Tag Team Championship. That is right, House of Pain. Tonight, Dieselmania 3, the belts come to collusion. You will feel the fall of freedom. Not your house, not your rules. Not your collusion house. is not in charge now. <laughs> house of Pain. You sit there over entitled, holding those titles way too long. Tonight you do not fight street battle. Tonight you fight warriors in a war that you cannot win. <laughs> Folks, back here, live, backstage at Dieselmania 3 with the Guardian of Chaos, breaking news. Folks, coming into the screen right now, their house, their rules, the Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Hakim, Nick, Dieselmania 3, break it down, brothers. We're not planning to lose the belts tonight. Over a year, we've been the tag team champions, and it's gonna stay that way. Tell them, Nick. 365 days, we have dominated this tag division. Tonight, nothing changes. The domination continues. We're gonna show everybody at Dieselmania 3, especially you, Team Collusion, that it's our house, our rules. Our next contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. <laughs> And it is for the Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championship! All right, Saban, here we go. Here's the big one for the Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling Tag Team Championship here at Diesel Mania 3. And it's a new team, Big Daddy. Collusion. It may be a new team. team. The Challengers. Being led to the ring by Abdul Haq. First, from the USSR, weighing in at 220 pounds, Maxim Morozov. And his partner, from Saudi Arabia, weighing in at 212 pounds, Zafar Al-Rahimi. Together, they are PAPW's newest tag team, The Collusion. Well, Saban, it may be a new tag team, but it's the same old story. It's manager Abdul Hawk, or as I like to say, Hawk Do. You know I don't like him. I feel like we're at the Campbell Toe races. I mean, the Campbell Jockey races. It's the same old song. It's Jafir Al Rahihi and Maxim Morozov. Collusion. And you know who they remind me of? I'm going to go back in time to the old WWF team of the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov. That's oh. who they remind me of. And I don't like them. I don't like either one of them, Saban. I don't either, Big Daddy. And listen to the crowd. And Abdul There's pure Hawk. pandemonium here. He needs to get back on that camel he rode in on and ride out. Well, we gotta be politically correct. Well, the hell with it, I don't care about that. They got the Russian flag, they got the Middle Eastern flag. I don't like it, wait, wait. And these people are about to change it all, all the way from the Bebop and Bronx, here they come. The Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Here they come, Saban, back up to Magic Horse. Their house, their rules. How apropos, Saban. And their opponents, hailing from the Bronx, New York. They weighed in at 1,000 pounds of pressure per slap. They are the Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions of one year. Nick Payne, Hakeem Ali, the House of Payne! Well, Saban, there they are, fresh back from Great North Wrestling and the country of Canada, the Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Hakeem Ali and Nick Payne, the House of Payne. Saban, look at the size of the arms of Hakeem Ali! Listen, that is a lot of humanity on that ring. Well, lately, the House of Pain, they're busier than a blow-up doll at a frat party, Saban. <laughs> <laughs> 
often wrong, never in doubt. Here we go, referee Jay Mendez for the Tag Team Championship. You know what, Saban, I know too much, but yet not enough. Never to be underestimated, never to be overestimated. Wait, what are they doing here? Where's Old Glory? They're waving the Russian flag and the Middle Eastern flag. Where's Vladimir Putin? I don't know what's going on here. Maybe he's in the audience, Putin. I don't know, Saban. The crowd clearly behind the champions, the House of Pain. Well, the House of Pain, obviously the tag team champions. They've held the belts for quite some time. As I said, they just got back from Great North Wrestling. Hannibal, AKA Devin Nicholson. It doesn't get any better than that in Canada. The crowd is very involved here, my friend. Absolutely. And now, they will be all mad. You know what I'm looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the Michael J. D'Angelo Rumble because you know who's back tonight. Old school. Who's Big Steve Tracy and Mario Mancini. And there's the bell. We're off to a fast and furious pace here. The House of Pain taking over on Collusion. All four men in the ring. Nice reversal. Do -si -do. Do -si -do. Super kick, drop kick. Hakeem Ali just delivered a drop kick. I can't believe it. Beautiful double team effort in the corner. Look at the team we're in the House of, of Pain. That size and their agility. They're mobile, agile, hostile, and nimble, the House of Pain. They remind me of a combination of the Young Bucks and the Heart Foundation. It doesn't get any better than that. Now, Collusion has done the right thing by clearing the ring, gaining their faculties, trying to take away the momentum from the House of Pain. I will say, obviously, the much larger and stronger team is Nick Payne and Hakeem Ali. Oh, absolutely. Well, you Not know what the difference maker is here, Saban? But Abdul Haq. Abdul Haq. He is the difference maker here. All three men outside the ring. Morozov gets back in the ring. Beautiful hip toss. And look, look, Nick Payne's wearing a He's, he's upset wearing a hat. and he's got the babushka. Oh, wait, it's coming towards you, oh. Saban. Duck! I'd rather not wear it. Headbutt to the midsection by the Russian. A big right to the proboscis of Nick Payne. Far side, nice reversal. Big sidewalks, backbreaker by Nick Payne. Here's the tag. Here comes Tags Ali. Not partner. to be confused with Muhammad Ali, Saban. No, absolutely not. Beautiful double hip toss into a double drop elbow by the House of Pain on Morozov, Saban. Say He's something funny, it. Saban. He's feeling it. <laughs> That's, That's what she not said. funny. <laughs> That's not funny, Big Daddy, feeling that. And he tosses Morris off out like yesterday's news. And here comes Safir Al-Rahihi. He's not supposed oh, to be in the ring. Behind. He's not the legal man. And he distracts referee Jay Mendez, who's trying to control Nick Payne and Zafir in the ring. And Morris off outside the ring with the flag, with the flag on Hakeem Ali, right over the back of Ali. And then he throws the flag over to Hawk. Morozov taking over on Ali outside the ring. Mendez didn't see it. You got to get him back in the ring. They can't win the title that way. Slamming Hakeem Ali's back into the ring apron. They're working the lower the back over. The third vertebrae of the lower lumbar region, Saban. Finally, Ali is back in the ring. I don't know why I'm doing all this double and extra duty here. I got all this gold. I may end up down at the pawn shop. Morozov taking over on Hakeem Ali. Remember this bad news. I'm nobody's bitch. Maxim Morozov taking over on Hakeem Ali. Putting the boots to the much bigger man. Here comes Ali. Come on, Saban. He's got some. Oh, double axe handle to a big chop. Cross the back. They're working that back over, Big Saban, Daddy. I'm very surprised that Morozov is taking over on Hakeem Ali like this. I'm very surprised. He's crafty. Well, you know, Hakeem Ali was standing alone, and the cops said to break it up. That's how big he is. <laughs> A nice front chancery by Maxim Morozov on Hakeem Ali. The crowd clearly behind the House of Pain, chanting USA. Come on, Saban. Look at that. Pure power, trying to pick him up and bring him to his corner. Trying to get over to Nick Payne. This is for the Tag Team Championships of Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling. A capacity There it crowd. is, he picks him up. Well, oh. a smart move by Zafir Al-Rahihi. Here's the tag, but Mendez didn't see it. Nick Payne's trying to come in the ring. Mendez didn't see it. 
He's gonna have to break it up. He's gonna break it up, but that was a clean tag. It was, that yes, it was, it was a That was a tag. clean that tag, Big Daddy. Daddy. Morris off and Zafir taking over, and now Zafir's in the ring. There was no tag. Here's the cover. Listen, Sabre, there's a lot of confusion. Two. I don't know if Jay Mendez can handle this right now. You've got Abdul Haq causing diversions outside the ring. The two participants causing diversions inside the ring. There's a lot of chicanery going on here at Diesel Mania 3. Zafar shouldn't even be in the ring. Look at the force of that Irish whip into the ring post. Zafir going to the second rope, Sabin. The only thing that was Irish about that, Big Daddy, is he's got a green sash on. <laughs> Good job, Saban. Zafir laying wait. And a beautiful spine buster from the top middle rope of Zafir Al-Rahihi. Here's the tag, and here comes the Russian. Here comes Morozov. They continue to work that back over. Listen, right now, Saban, Ali needs to make a tag, desperately needs to make a tag. He's got to get over, and Nick is going crazy in the corner over here. I he will say one thing, I feel like I'm in a Mojave Desert. Does anybody have any suntan lotion? Well, that may be an advantage for the Pyramids of Power, the collusion team. Look at the double that team That may have been effort. a plan, Big Daddy. That well, may be right why it's that, so Saban. hot in here. That's a point well taken. Moore is off. Look, look, he's doing the Russian jig. He's doing the Russian jig on Hakeem Ali. I, I gotta say, he's pretty nimble. He can dance, he's getting jiggy with it. I was waiting for the music to start. Look at the double team effort by Morozov and Zafir Al-Rahihi. Abdul Haq is and never too far again, away. They've got the referee focusing on Big Nick Payne. Listen, and they're Saban, inflicting the pain. Saban, they may be a new tag team, but they're working together like a well-oiled machine, Morozov and Zafir Al-Rahihi. Mendez is very confused, referee Jay Mendez, in this match. Their manager, Abdul Haq, obviously has prepared them well. He certainly has. He as has much prepared as I them. hate to say that. Oh, look, it's Zafir taking over. Hakeem choking him out. Mendez is tied up with Morozov. Nick Payne trying to save his partner. And look, the double teaming continues. You can't make it up here. Listen, I have never seen anyone take it to the House of Pain the way Zafir and Morozov are doing it right now. I have seen the House of Pain since they arrived here in PAPW, and I concur. I have never once seen them just absolutely manhandled and abused. And there's Abdul Haq. And Haq is getting Ali. involved. Where's the referee? Mendez is distracted again. He needs to be retrained. And here's the tag. Finally, a legal tag that Mendez saw, and here comes Morozov. The bad news is the tag was to Morozov. And once again, they have Ali in the corner, and you can see Zafir and Morozov taking over. Mendez has oh, to look get at him, he's firing out. out. Ali fighting back with what little he has left. That's pure determination right there. That's 100% adrenaline right there. As Mancini and I say, that's testicular fortitude at its finest. Absolutely. Morozov dragging Ali back over to Zafir Al-Rahi. Where was the tag? There was no tag there, Saban. There was a tag, Big Daddy. And look, for Ali's once. pissed. For He's once. pissed. He's throwing stuff all over the ringside here. Nick Payne is pissed. Wait, what a Zafir show picked up Ali. By Zafir. I cannot believe that he picked him up. All right, Saban, here's his chance. Here we go. He's got to get to this corner. Ring. Come on, Ali. He's got to get to the corner. I'm rooting for him. Make Zafir the tag, Ali. Trying. Make the tag, Ali. Oh, wait. And oh. Zafir pulls out Nick Payne. He pulls him out. And the double team continues. You can't make it up. Morozov right in front of us putting a boost and to Nick Payne. Now they're attacking Nick Payne outside the ring. Pure chaos. Hakeem Ali inside the ring. Rahihi and Ali back in the ring. Rahihi bull rush into the corner on Hakeem Ali. Here's finally another legal tag with Maxim Morozov. Nick Payne is still outside the ring on Queer Street, trying to gain his faculties is what I mean. I think that this makes is a will three for the whole match, Big Daddy. Yeah, that might be three uh, out of the 15 illegal tags. Exactly. There, Nick Payne is right in front of us and he's in big trouble. Ali's in bigger trouble in the ring. Morozov is stalking Hakeem Ali. He's trying to get to his partner. The crowd clearly behind House of Pain. Morozov laying in wait. The crowd is trying to get him. He's trying to, to stretch them. Hakeem Ali for all he's worth. He's gonna put him into a modified camel clutch. No, with a big forearm across the drum. Boskis. 
beating him from pillar to post. You know what? This is wrestling 101 mistake saving though. Moore's off is playing to the crowd. They should be trying to take the championship. He, he's, he's trying to work the crowd instead of working his opponent. Wait, wait, uh -oh. what's he gonna do? Look, at, Look this. at the strength on Ali. He still has something left. Oh Jeez, my heaven. Body drop. Both men are down. Nick Payne is, the crowd is in a frenzy. The referee is starting his count. H-O-P, H-O-P, H-O-P. I don't want to sound biased, but we are. Here's the tag. I don't care, I am. Big clothesline. Big clothesline. Another one. Beautiful maneuver by Nick Payne. Double underhook. Big suplex. Payne is on fire. Ali's back in the ring. I'm not sure if he's fresh enough, Saban. That's a little surprising right there, Big Daddy. Oh Beautiful my! Reversal slam! Here's the press, here's the cover! Almost a three count, Morozov breaks it up. All four men now are in the ring. It's a slobber knocker, Saban. Who's legal, Big Daddy? Who's legal? I don't legal? know, thank you, Jim Ross. Hey, I think they're, if they're over 18, they're legal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get too crazy. Beautiful maneuver by Zafira Slingblade. Here's the cover. Nick Payne there to break it up. This match has been insane, pure insanity. All four men still in the ring, trading lefts and rights, lefts, forearm right. shivers. Mendez trying to get involved. Uh -oh. They throw Mendez to the side. Ring the bell, ring the bell. There it is. Mendez has had it. That's it. He rang for the bell. What's going to happen the here? Double disqualification. Says I've had enough. Double disqualification. Double disqualification. I don't know what's happened here. He's conferring with Matt DeCourt. Let's see what DeCourt says. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just been informed by referee Jay Mendez that this match is a double disqualification. Wow, Saban. Mendez called a double DQ. He tried to get in between them all four grapplers, which is mistake number one. And then he just double disqualification, so the title doesn't change hands. The House of Pain retains it. Break it down, Saban. Well, listen, the ref was trying to break it up, and they shoved the referee. Unbelievable what happened here. Nonetheless, the House of Pain retains the Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling Tag Team Championship in a double DQ against Collusion. What a matchup here for the tag team. However, fight. and I know House of Pain doesn't Paradise want to retain Alley that way. They want to clean victory, but Collusion is probably the House of Pain. Well, there's the official announcement from uh, ring announcer Matt DeCourt. The House of Pain has retained in a double DQ statement. Wait, I smell something foul, Saban. I smell a foul stench. And here's Morozov, hot two, and Al Rahi. I smell a foul stench right here. Get your hands off me, Hawk. Get away from me, Get away from me, Hawk. Get out of here. Get away. Keep on moving. Folks, here we are, Diesel Mania 3. You just saw it. The House of Pain retains the Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling Tag Team Championship against Delusion. Guardian of Chaos. Kevin Saban, bad news, Bob. Go, bro. It doesn't get any better than that. Mania 3, HOP, their house, their rule. Daddy, here tonight, live at Diesel Mania 3, a special attraction tonight, folks, at Diesel Mania 3. The mighty minis standing to the right of me. It's one of the baddest minis on the planet. Here he is. Tell him what's going to happen tonight. The bullet! Well, as you saw last time at No Limitations, I got the win over Rob the Giant. Tonight will be no different. I'm glad to be back at Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling. And tonight, Rob the Giant, I got a bullet with your name on it. I am the guardian of chaos, Big Daddy, and I tell it like it is. Here tonight live, representing Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling, Diesel Mania 3 special attraction match tonight. The Mighty Minis. Let's bring them in, fans at Diesel Mania 3. Here he is, folks. A special attraction, Robbie the Giant. Giant, tell the fans at Diesel Mania 3 what's going to happen to the bullet. Holy oh. cromoly! Zip it! First of all, this isn't Diesel Mania. This isn't Mini Mania. This is Giant Mania. And I'm sick of seeing that poster saying the Mighty Minis. No, no, I am the Giant Bullet. You're the Meanie. And tonight, again, I'm going to throw you, I'm gonna bully you, and I'm gonna send your young 
punk butt back to the yellow brick road. Diesel Mania 3, I said Robbie Mania! There it is, Matt and the with court, that, laying down the line. Our next the contest sponsors. is a minis match scheduled for one fall. One, one fall. fall. I've been waiting for this one, Saban. Here they come, the mighty minis. It doesn't get any better than this. Fans, you don't know what you're in for, what you're about to see here. Back up the Matt the Introducing court. first, from Fall River, Massachusetts, he weighed in at 130 pounds. This is Bullet Joe. Well, there he is, Saban, all the way from Shortville. He fights midget style. It's Bullet Joe. We've seen him here before in Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling. Look at him. He's no one to be trifled with. Look at the flies in the flies on the Mighty Mini. There and his is. opponent That's a lot now of making his minutes, way to the ring from Shortville, USA. His weight is none of your business. This is Rob. The Giant! And there he is right in front of us, Saban. Rob the Giant. I had a little heat with the Giant backstage in our free interview promo. The Giant doesn't like the Guardian of Chaos, but you know what, Saban? I think I can take him. And your special referee is El Gallo Tres Huevos, El Ref. This is going to be one exciting match, Big Daddy. Well, listen, I think they might come up a little bit short, Saban. This might only be half a match, if you know what I'm talking well, about. Well, I, I do know. <laughs> hey, I remember that song back in the 70s and the 80s. Uh, Peppa, if you're listening, this goes out to you. Short people got no reason to. Short, short whoa, what's he doing there? Well, what, and he threw it in the giant's face. Wait. I smell a foul odor. I thought it was, oh, and he slapped the taste out of his mouth, Saban. Wait, wait, and the giant uh, oh. got a little scared there of the bullet. Bad news, Bob finally gets the bell correct. Finally, we're gonna have to fire him before he even starts here at Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling. And here we go, Saban. All right. Robbie the Giant and Bullet Joe, Mighty Minnie's special attraction at Diesel Mania 3. The fans are in stunned silence to see this matchup. Beautiful half a collar elbow and half a lockup. <laughs> the jokes are gonna come fast and furious. Saving. Keep them coming, Big Daddy. Be, keep keep them prepared. Coming. I, I will say both men tying each other are up on the ropes. Round and round we go. Here we go, El Ref. Look at El Ref with the fresh, uh, the fresh shape up there on El uh. Ref. I think El Ref could take both of them. I don't know, uh, Robbie the Giant doesn't look too happy with El Ref right now, and neither does the Bullet. Oh, a lot of jokes coming from the crowd here. They asked El Ref if he was short-handed. I don't know what they mean by that. <laughs> here's a half a test of strength there, Saban. Nice half a lockup. And there's the other half. Look at the strength. I'll have to give the size to uh, the Giant, but the strength of the Bullet looks like he's in tremendous shape. I like the ink, I like the tattoos on the bullet, Saban. What do you think? Those are really nice. Very nice, look a little slap in the chest from the Giant. Oh, they look like they may like each other here. What's going on here? Oh, they're trying to one-up each other, Saban. Couple of half chops. Those were half chops. <laughs> well said, Saban. El Gallo, make them tie up here. Oh, wait, a little momentum kicker there for the Giants. Wait, the bullets and he's driving him nuts. Here's a half a headlock off the half ropes. Beautiful half shoulder block, Saban. <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> the giant jawing back and forth with the bullet. You can't make it up here at Diesel Mania 3. Both men looking equal in strength. Look at the welts already on the shoulder and the chest of the bullet, Saban. A lot of half marks on him. <laughs> Saban. I told you it doesn't get old, my friend. We could do this all night long. We could do Daddy. this all day, all night, my friend, here at Paradise Alley. Both men off the ropes. Meeting in the several in the center of the ring with several. They cut the ring blocks. in half. <laughs> both men hurting their uh, shoulders here. Several beautiful shoulder blocks by both grapplers. Hey, say what you want. We're making jokes about it, but both men are well qualified, well versed, and they belong in this ring. Blocks the uh, uh, attempted hip toss. Here it is, nice reversal hip toss by the bullet. Beautiful half a drop kick by the bullet. Here's the half cover. Only a 
two and a half count. Wait, and he's on El Gallo. Back on top of the Giant. Back to El Gallo. Back to the Giant. Back to El Ref. Back on the Giant. Wow, what a series of maneuvers there. A lot of How two counts. How the heck is El Ref in this match? He's getting more of a workout than they are. Thank God El Ref's in great shape. How about that, Saban? How the does bullet El was Ref... tossed from the Giant to El Ref and back. And back on the... Another beautiful drop kick by the bullet. Two count, here we go again. again. Oh, El Ref dumped him and off El this Ref time. just tossed the bullet right off into a standing position here, uh, the bullet. Nice chop by the bullet, Ooh. looked like he hurt his own hand. Excellent matchup here at Diesel Mania 3. Far side goes the Giant. Nice kick to the abdomen. Beautiful clothesline by the Giants. Here it is, here's the cover. Again, only two a two count. count. Now the Giants in El Ref's hands. El Ref throws him around like yesterday's garbage. Wait, and now the Giant puts his hands on El Ref. Whoa! Uh -oh, now he got to El Gallo. Well. Oh wait, Robbie, the Giant has now uh, he's, not he's so giant against El Ref. He's trying to smooth out that, that ref shirt for him. <laughs> uh, the bullet looks a little confused in the corner. Oh, caught him off guard, caught the Giant off guard. And look at that. Now listen, I will say this, Saban, smart move by the Giant. Although there are no timeouts in wrestling, as the fans are saying at ringside, he is, wait, high risk maneuver, and he fakes out the Giant. The bullet just faked out the Giant. Absolutely. A double foot oh, stomp on his hands, on that's his beautiful. Hands. <laughs> it's one of my favorite maneuvers. Hey, is that Matias DiNapoli I see in the crowd? There he is. There he is. There Former is. tough enough competitor, oh. Matias DiNapoli. Oh, wait, wait. Here come the Mighty Minis. Round and round we go. Right by us. Back in the ring. Misses with the elbow drop. Hey, that bullet's pretty he, quick. He tried to cut the ring in half. <laughs> I think he used that one already there, Saban. All right, I'm sorry, Big Daddy. Look at that. Uh, the bullet has some good dance moves. And the Giants outside. Here they are. Round and ring again. They're coming our way, Saban. Here they go. Don't see go. Come around. There goes the Giant. There goes the bullet. Back in the ring. El Ref has lost control. The bullet's right in front of us. And look, the Giants going between El Ref's legs. There's not a lot of room there between El Ref's legs. He's got plenty of manpower, if you know what I mean. <laughs> wait, wait. El Ref is wrestling more than two than the minis are. Wait, El Ref is tired. El Easy. Ref wants to time out. Here, here, Ref, have some agua. El Ref needs some water. Well, give it up. El Ref wants to take a break. A, a short time out here in a Mighty Minis match. Job well done by El Ref. You needed a water break. But there you go, El Ref. I hope you're hydrated now. And uh, now maybe we can get back to the match up here. Holy, what's going on here, Saban? Holy moly, this was crazy, Big Daddy. It really was, but uh, maybe El Ref is now hydrated. Here we go. Beautiful leg sweep by the bullet. You can't make it up here in a now, Diesel Mania 3, if, Saban. If he had half a plan. A beautiful donkey kick. He and would stay on top giant. of him. Listen, now that Robbie the Giant is outside, the bullet is jawing with El Gallo, today's huevos, El Ref. A big mistake. <laughs> Saban, Saban, you're not bad, Saban, with the one-liners. And the fans are encouraging the bullet to come outside. Wait, and now El Ref is out here. What is El Ref doing? El Ref is looking for Robbie the Giant, who went under the ring apron. Where's the Giant? Where did I don't Robbie know. go, Saban? He went under the ring, Wait, El Ref is El looking Ref for him. He and can't the see the are find looking him. for the Giant. He's a giant. How could you lose him, Robbie How the Giant? Robbie is a giant. El Ref is looking all over the place. There he is. He found him. Oh. He found him under the ring. He found the giant. Wait, wait. There's no timeouts wait. in professional wrestling. There's no wrestling. timeouts, Robbie the Giant. Now El Ref is trying to play. High risk maneuver. Wait. And the bullet jumps into the arms of El Ref outside the ring. Oh, look at El Ref. He caught him like a little baby. What a beautiful picture. Oh, the little bambino. Well, El Ref, look. El Ref looks like he's a little winded. El Ref I don't think is he's getting, been, I think, the biggest workout in this I match. I don't think he's done his cardio lately. He may want some more water. Wait, the bullet is setting up the giant. Outside the ring, beautiful suicide dive by the oh, bullet. He moved that whole Onto Robbie the barrier giant. back into the crowd. Wait, the bullet is checking with the crowd. The bullet, checking, the bullet sure. is checking with the crowd to make sure that the fans are okay. And it looks like the fans are okay. The bullet is checking in with them. He's got Robbie the giant. He tosses the giant back inside the ring. Everybody's safe here at ringside. The bullet waving the Bullets crowd on. The crowd Both going, Big Daddy. Both half was back in the ring. <laughs> Both half rap was back in the ring, Saban. It's crazy here at Diesel Mania 3. He's got him in a double underhook. The bullet's got the giant in a double underhook. Nice reversal into her arm ringer. Into the turnbuckle. 
Wait. Here's he Robbie hurt Giant his right neck. Front of far side. Oh. Big stomp to the face by the bullet. Wait. He gets him up into an air placement, into a nice neck breaker. The beautiful maneuver by the Giant. Robbie the Giant, Saban. As Saban is coughing up a lung here at Diesel Mania 3, you can't make it up, fans. And look, 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 speaking of choking, Robbie the Giant's trying to choke out the bullet. L Ref has his hands full, so to speak, half a hand full here at Diesel Mania 3. Robbie the Giant. L Ref needs to get in control. Are you here. okay, Saban? Are you back with us? I'm Saban? back with you, baby. Holy Cromoli, that's what I've been saying all night. That's my new phrase. And look at this. The Giant is right on the bullet here in front of us. I think I swallowed half a lung. <laughs> Saban. Saban, you might have what it takes. Maybe we'll keep you here at Paradise Alley. Where's your daughter? Where's the I original ring that. bellkeeper? Where is she? Well, the beautiful bellkeeper had a concert to go to tonight, Big Daddy. Well, uh, I guess we can't work her like a dog all the time. We do miss her, though. She's easy on the eyes. She's a great gal. She's very professional. We love her here at Paradise Alley. And she loves being here. Oh, a beautiful butt buster. So you got to watch out buster. there, Bob. Beautiful maneuver by Robbie the Giant. A nice bump. And he's thanking the Guardian of Chaos. Thank you, Giant. Here's the cover. Only a two Just count. Just a two count. Two count. tells us it's two. Hey, how two. do you like that? Robbie the Giant Thank the Guardian of Chaos. Oh, you That's know. a beautiful thing. See, maybe he likes me halfway. <laughs> look, look. Look, bad news, Despite Bob. Your Somebody give him a shot of Johnny Walker and wake him up over there. Bad news, Bob. He, he, he likes you halfway despite your shortcomings. <laughs> Wait, let's not talk about my shortcomings. Right. Did you see me in the shower, hey, Saban? Hey, oh. Speaking of that, low blows here by the bullet. Nice chops. Far side off the ropes. Big back elbow by the Giant. Robbie the Giant looks like he's in trouble here, even though uh, the bullet is on the canvas. He's holding on to his abdomen as he drags the bullet by his hair. Gets him up against the turnbuckle, and now he's choking him out with his feet. He's got a five count. El Ruff is up to three. He's up to four. Now he's up on the second rope, the Giant. He's even taller than I thought he was. You should have seen Look the promo that. we did. He had those size four and a halfs right in his throat. <laughs> four and a halfs. Oh, those talk about your small feet. You know what they say, small shoes, small that's, feet. That's right. Oh, small hands. <laughs> he's lining them up, and he misses. He misses with the rodeo in the corner. The bullet moves out of the way last minute. The Giants hung up in the corner, Saban. The bullet's trying to get the crowd and going. Look, the crowd is still go. here, still capacity crowd, hanging on tight here at Diesel Mania. We're just beginning. We Despite still have plenty of matches story. to go. We still have the Rumble for the Michael D'Angelo Memorial Rumble. We still have Holiday and JT Dunn. We still have the championship with Showtime, Marcel Williams and the Dagger, Mick Drake. There's a lot to come here at Diesel Mania 3. Nice rollover by the bullet into a double foot stop. Oh, he needs to go for the pin, Saban. Here it is. Near three count by the bullet on the Giant. How long do you think they've gone here now, uh, Saban? What are we up to about? This is like a 10 or 12 minute bout so it's far. It's still a short time. It's, uh, it's still a relatively short time, Saban. <laughs> and look, look, the bullet is getting the crowd firmly behind him. Firmly behind him here, the bullet. Nice double underhook on the Giant. Half a double under hook, so to speak. Nice half a reversal. He caught my, oh. Into a beautiful half kick. Ha, Mancini, this never gets old. Where are you, Mancini? Are you prepping with Big Steve for the Rumble? Where's the Mario and Chaos show? Where's WCNX? Nice rollover, but he's in the ropes. He's in the ropes. He's using the ropes. See, you can't get nothing over on El Ref. Oh. And he tosses the Giant right off him. He was in the ropes. Wait, and the Giant looks like he was going to resort to fisticuffs against El Ref. Would not have been as distracted. Boost in the midsection. Double underhook into a DDT. Here's the cover. Put and in the box. The bullet wins. The bullet. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Bullet Jones. Well, there you have it, Saban. Diesel Mania 3. The mighty minis, referee L Ref, and he's raving L Ref's hand as if he won the match, but it was the bullet. What a great matchup. Diesel Mania 3, in remembrance of Michael J. D'Angelo. Folks, we're just getting started here. Like I said, coming up, we have the Michael D'Angelo Memorial Rumble. Pyramids of Power are in it. The House of Pain, Kenny Roberts, Jim the Destroyer, Sergeant Murray, Nutria Sex, Zafar Al Rahihi, Zach Gibbs. 
Meadowlands Monster, the seven-footer Meadowlands Monster is here. Have you seen So it doesn't get any better than that. No, you, listen, I did see him backstage. Seven Ooh. feet tall, Saban. And here he is coming over here. Here's the winner. Here's the bullet. The Mighty Minis here at Diesel Mania 3. It doesn't get any there better than that. Support. Victorious. We're here with the Guardian of Chaos, Diesel Mania 3, GoPro Wrestling, folks. Come on down live. Coming up, we got Richard Holiday, JT Dunn, Showtime Marcel Williams, Big Steve and Mario in the Royal Rumble. It doesn't get any better than that for Michael J. D'Angelo. I am the Guardian of Chaos, Big Daddy, and I tell it like it is. Here representing Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling tonight, Diesel Mania 3, standing to the right of me, pro wrestling savior, death by elbow, JT Dunn, JT, I want you to tell the fans out there about tonight's opponent who you are very familiar with. I'm very familiar with Richard Holloway. That's a great way to put it. And you know what? I saw him speak to you guys on the Chaos and, and Mario show about JT Dunn. How I'm pro wrestling savior. I beat the best. I am the best. And I appreciate the nice things that he said about me. But it doesn't change my decision tonight to come here to Diesel Mania 3 and knock out Richard Holiday. This is his house. This is the house that Holiday built. The people out there, they're already outside. They're buzzing. I can hear them from here. They're buzzing. But I'm going to share a little story with you, Richard. You see, I have many houses around the, around the country, and many of the top talents have walked in my front door, and they put a whooping on me. That's to teach me a lesson. That was to humble me. It was to prepare me for this moment, for me to walk into somebody else's house and smack them around and put my stamp of approval in front. So, Richard, if you want to be one of the best, and everybody knows JT Dunn's on borrowed time in independent wrestling, so if you want my top spot, Tonight, take it from me. Give me. Folks, the consumers are buzzing. They're all here in attendance from the marketing department. Richard Holiday. Now, Holiday, tonight you're wrestling somebody that you uh, have the long history with. Please tell the fans out there at Paradise Alley across the country about tonight's opponent at Diesel Mania 3. Well, Big Daddy. It's no question that the consumers are in for an absolute treat tonight because they're getting one of the hottest rivalries in all of New England. It's death by elbow. We are buzzing. JT Dunn against Richard Holiday. It does not get any bigger than this. And on Diesel Mania 3, this, is, this might be the biggest match in the history. It very well could of be. Of PAPW, but JT. Unfortunately for you, Diesel Mania 3 fell on September 29th, which Big Daddy, let me educate you a little bit. Well, well, listen, you do have a degree, Holiday. Is National Coffee Day. So if you think that I'm going to get defeated on National Coffee Day, when I am having my sixth coffee of the day, JT, I have all the energy in the world. You might be one of the best that New England has ever seen, but I am one of the fastest rising stars that this country has ever seen. And on six cups of coffee, my friend, that's a lot of caffeine, and I have a lot of determination to get the job done tonight. And he said that this is the house that Holiday built. It's true. You are 100% right, my friend. Well, folks, there you have it. Richard Holiday is certainly buzzing. Don't you dare miss it. We are live, pal. Folks, we're back here live. Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling. Diesel Mania 3, the Guardian All of right, Chaos, and, and my new partner Noel from GoPro. The half. That's going to be better than that. that. I just want to say, we've got Absolutely a long time Paradise ready to Alley rock and Pro roll wrestling right here. Paradise in the front Alley. row right there Paradise named Jaden. He just celebrated back up his to 11th to court birthday in the yesterday. Noel, Let's give him a big I'm going to walk over to court because that's what I do. It's great to have you here in the broadcast booth from Paradise Alley much. Professional Wrestling and GoPro. Diesel Mania 3, give me your thoughts and as we once go back again, up to Matt DeCourt. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Targus, Epson, I, you I want you to talk over Matt. Elks right now. Club, talk over Matt. the Raging Knights, and Diadamo and Tracy so far, Bail Bonds for making this event happen. At all. It's living up to Diesel Mania 1 and 2, which I caught on YouTube, And with that way. said, the next contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. fall. All right, let's hold on here, Noel from GoPro, my slightly bearded friend. Not as good as you. <laughs> That's what she said. Are we about to, what are we opening up here with? We are, are we going here? We here are it is. opening up. Here it is. This, stuff, this, this match right here, oh, Noel, is worth the price nice. of admission alone. Absolutely. This could be a main event in any oh, show in the country. In fact, these two have been main events all over the Northeast right Introducing now. Introducing first, 
from Providence, Rhode Island. He weighed in at 185 pounds. He is pro wrestling savior, DJ T. Dunn. No, well, there he is. Perhaps one of the finest wrestlers in the world. Pro wrestling savior, death by elbow, JT Dunn. One of my favorites, Noel. Absolutely, one of mine as well. JT has been a breakout star this year, and all the years he's been wrestling, this year has been his absolute standout year. Well, he's got a long running feud with this next competitor about to enter the ring. The fans are familiar with the music, the consumers are buzzing, and this has turned into one hell of a rivalry, Noel. Absolutely. I, for one, am buzzing. Well, the marketing department did call Paradise out. And his opponent, Making his way to the ring from the marketing department, he weighed in at 237 pounds. He is the most marketable man in wrestling, Richard Holiday. Hey folks, there he is, the most marketable man in professional wrestling, Richard Holiday. No, the consumers are buzzing to break down the history here Champion Holiday and Pro Wrestling Savior JT Dunn. Oh, you're going to put me on the spot here. Richard Holiday and JT Dunn have gone back and forth, and it's got to be about 20 to 30,000 matches up and down the East Coast. Every single card they are on, they absolutely steal the show every single time. Between oh. Death by Elbow and Buzzing, this is going to be something that takes the cake tonight. Our referee for this matchup is Bill Thompson, or as I like to call him, Slick Willie. Now look at the shape of Richard Holiday. He is six foot three, 240 pounds. He is the current ECWA Super 8 champion. He also is in the PWI Top 500. He's from the marketing department. The consumers are buzzing. Listen, the credentials are impressive, but again, pro wrestling savior. JT Dunn, Noel, and there's the bell to open things here on the hey, second Paul, half of Diesel Mania 3. JT the, the Dunn and Richard Holliday. Yeah, I am ready to Michael be on the edge of my seat for this one. Well, Diesel Mania 3 has been a huge success. Beautiful collar and elbow to open things up here between Holiday and Dunn. Nice little reversal by Richard. Into a nice wrist lock by Holiday. Both men technically sound. Look at the agility on JT Dunn. Neither one is going to give an inch on this one. Nice reversal into a nice wrist lock. Nice rollover by Holiday. Beautiful standing leap. Into a hammer lock. Into a side headlock, Noel. Unbelievable. This is. This matchup here could be a main event in NXT Impact. Uh, it, it doesn't matter where it is. It could be a main event anywhere. They have been, as you said. It, it has been a main event in XWA. It's been a main event all over the Northeast. Right, XWA, Chaotic, uh, uh, Paradise Alley. That was a beautiful drop toe hold by Richard Holiday. Both men back to their feet, Noel. There he is, look at JT Dunn. Oozing charisma, oozing professionalism. There he is, he's got a lot of fans. JT Dunn, they love JT Dunn. And here it is, Noel. They're starting with the chance. Death by elbow. They are buzzing. Death by elbow. They, they are, are buzzing. buzzing. Death by elbow. They, they are buzzing. buzzing. Death by elbow. They are, they buzzing. are buzzing. Somebody hit me in the back, so I'm stop being wound <laughs> up. No, help me out here, brother. I think the crowd is leaning a little bit more towards Richard Holiday today. This is his hometown. Nice side. His home turf. By JT Dunn. This is his home down. This is Holiday's home field advantage. But I don't know. JT Dunn uh, has the fans behind him early. Richard I'm Holiday give the size and strength to Holiday. Absolutely. But the quickness and tech, technical ability to JT Dunn. Misses with the clothesline. Far side. Big, big shoulder block by JT. Step over. Crossover. Nice leap by Holiday. Here we go. Rolly roll. Don't see. Don't know. And we are at a standoff. Misses with the elbow. Misses with the foot stomp. Wow, no. Both these men are equally matched. Absolutely. These guys, they have. They have studied each other. They have wrestled numerous times. And look, they know grapplers are applauding each other, Noel. Absolutely. They know exactly what it takes. They know each other's movesets inside and out. Listen to the crowd. They are so into this matchup here at Diesel Mania 3. Uh, you can't make it up, Noel. 
Look, both men are looking for accolades from the crowds. It's unbelievable here at Diesel Mania 3. It's pure chaos. Oh, uh -oh. and it's a business is about to pick up, Noel. Oh, business is definitely about to pick up tonight. Woo! What, what a, a beautiful chop. chop. Exchanging monster chops here. Another big chop by JT. Oh, Richard Holiday with a oh. monster chop. JT's chest is starting to welt up already. Look at the welts, Noel. Look at the welts on their chest. Nice double, double underhook. Under Nice series. Beautiful. Beautiful sunset flip. Double stomp to the chest. Holiday, nice beautiful ring awareness by rolling out of the ring, knowing that his time may have been up. He rolled out to catch well, his breath a little. that's why he's in the Pro Wrestling Illustrated Top 500. JT over the top. Caught it. Outside the ring. Beautiful kick by JT oh. Don Holiday out in Holiday front of Holiday may be out right now. Here JT's got to get him back in the ring. Well said, Noel. Here they are right in front of us. Rolls Holiday back into the ring. There it is. Don't waste any time, JT. Beautiful X Factor. Here's the cover, Noel. Kick out at one Listen, and seven eighths. Although he kicked out at one and seven eighths, Noel, you gotta admire the wrestling 101 on JT Don. You have to hook the leg. That's how you pin Richard Holiday. Absolutely, 100% agree. Nice forearm shiver by JT Dunn. Forearm return by Richard Holiday. Uh, touche, says Richard Holiday. Big knee to the jib by JT Dunn. Holiday may be out on his feet right now. This could be a, a pure instinct, athletic ability by Richard Holiday. But he's back with a vengeance. Beautiful Big chop. chop. They're bleeding through their chest on the inside. Look at the welts on Holiday's oh. chest, Noel. I can feel it from here. JT Dunn tying up Holiday in a corner. Beautiful, Beautiful shoulder, shoulder block to the solar plexus. Big Ooh. chop. You can feel that one all the way up in Rhode Island. Ooh. Crowd's asking for one more. There it is. Wow. JT the listens and strength. delivers. JT Dunn, it's no one to be trifled with. I'll tell you, I'll say that much, Noel. Holiday with a beautiful nice reversal. Game. Misses with the clothesline. Back elbow by JT Dunn. Holiday outside the ring. Outside again. JT is going high. Suicide dive, but he's met with Holiday a with his own elbow. Holiday back into the ring. Beautiful stomp, beautiful boot to the face by JT. Here's the cover. There's the hook, he got the two. Well, no, right now I'm reading a book about anti-gravity. I can't seem to put it down though. <laughs> <laughs> that says a lot about this match, anti-gravity between JT Dunn and Richard Holiday. Physics jokes in the middle of a PAPW match. Well, that's what I do best, no, that's what I do best. JT Dunn taking over now on Holiday. JT working on the neck and the knees of, J of Richard Holiday right now. Smart wrestling. You take out a limb and you break it down, Noel. What a matchup. Beautiful. Working on that left knee. Working on the rather ample thighs and quads of Richard Holiday. Outside the ring here, Noel, right in front of us. JT to the outside. That's a way to tear the ACL, the medial collateral ligament, the anterior cruciate ligament. JT done going to the high rent district, Noel. JT looking high is. risk. What's he gonna do? Back into the ring. Holiday's taking advantage. Left leg. He's in big trouble, Noel. Absolutely, he's taking advantage of that knee. He sees a weakness and he is going for it. Both men, well versed. Two of the top athletes here in New England Northeast area, perhaps in the country. I was going to say in the country, all over. Well, you've seen Holiday on Monday Night Raw. Beautiful kick by JT Dunn. Both men in this early on this match, a beautiful rollover. Holiday kicking out on pure instinct alone, I believe. That's a valid point, Nolan. And Bill Thompson is on his game tonight. Paradise Alley professional wrestling referee at his best. JT locking up Holiday here in a nice reverse. Uh, it looks like he's going for maybe a snap mare, Noel. It's a cravat is what it's called. Well, that's why you're here, Noel, because in case I screw up, you take over. <laughs> I do what I can, Big Daddy. I do what I can. <laughs> Last time I was in a locker room, I had to share it with a mop. <laughs> <laughs> A nice series of uh, elbows here by Holiday. Nice reversal. 
JT back with the front face lock cravat. Looking to cut off the air supply, wear down Holiday. I used to listen to air supply back in the 70s, Noel. Good band, good band. What do they have, one hit, two hits? <laughs> Before my time. Nice big knees taking over on Holiday, tying down. Holiday caught him. Nice reversal by Float JT. Over. JT a with a sleeper. A standing sleeper, Noel. Bill Thompson asking Holiday if he wants to give up. You're not going to get Holiday get that blood no flowing. Way. Holiday's got to keep that blood flowing, and he's going to be out cold on his feet. Listen, and he's not the ECWA Super 8 for no reason. Absolutely. He also won the Spindle City Rumble, but he's in big trouble with JT Dunn right now. Trying to, there's the reversal. Schoolboy, here it Beautiful is, though. Schoolboy. Kick out at two. Only a newcomer. What a right hand. Holiday has JT wavering in the corner. Big what boot by JT. Up, Unbelievable. Hurricane oh, Rana. Super kick to the jaw. Holiday what just took big JT boot, no out way. of his boots. Setting him up here for a big power slam. No. What's he going to do? Nice reversal by JT Dunn. Here's the cover. Near three fall. Turned it into a two count. What a beautiful stop. Look at the agility on Holiday. Sit down power bomb. Beautiful sit down power bomb by Holiday. Almost Two three and three count. quarters. I almost said it, no. I almost said put it in the books. Oh. The consumers are buzzing for this. You can't make it up. What a match up here at Diesel Mania 3. And think we still have the Michael J. D'Angelo Rumble coming up. Oh, I can't wait to see that. By Big Steve and Mario Mancini. Old School is going to make their first appearance in how, how many years? It's been quite a while. We also have the main event with Showtime Marcel Williams and the dagger, Mick Drake. Marcel's last appearance here in Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling. Allegedly his last appearance. Beautiful reverse atomic drop. Double nice underhook. underhook. Backbreaker. Beautiful series of maneuvers by Holiday. JT reversing out of it. Beautiful knee by Holiday. Into a soup front suplex. Beautiful maneuver. Here's the pin. Here's the cover. Almost a three count. Holiday three almost quarters had him. again. Holiday looking a little confused, wondering what he has to do to put JT away today. Oh, speaking of confused, Noel, with this match, I'm as confused as a baby at Hooters. <laughs> I once farted in an elevator. It was so wrong on so many levels, Noel. Back to the match. Back to Rick's side, Noel. You can't make it up here at GoPro Paradise Alley. Woo! Holiday taking over on the pro wrestling savior. What's he going to do here, Noel? Beautiful stomp to keep him down. One of my favorite down. maneuvers, a big boot stomp. Oh, Bill Thompson Holiday. being a little cantankerous, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Holiday looking to be a little frustrated with only getting two counts left and right with JT today. Well, Holiday's doing the right thing now, Noel. He's tying up JT Dunn. He's trying to slow down the match. It's been a very fast-paced matchup here at Diesel Made a Oh, oh what a jawbreaker. Jawbreaker. That's why you're here, Noel. That's why you're here. In case I make a mistake, you cover up for That's me. That's all right. Right hand by Holiday. Going for the market the crash. Battle and roll by Holiday. Let's go, baby. Wait, JT done. Blocks JT it. JT had it scouted. He definitely had it scouted. He did his homework. JT still working on that neck. How many more chops can these two grapplers take? I Another <laughs> big chop by Richard Holiday. I can tell you just watching this, my chest is hurting. Well, you're, that's a valid point, Noel. It's a valid point. Oh, we're going to go one for one right now. Wow. Exchanging chops back and forth. They opened up the bout this way. They're in the middle of the bout this way. Unbelievable matchup. Wow. Beautiful backhand by Holiday off the ropes. Big forearm shiver by JT far side. Holiday re in return. Off the ropes, nice rollover. What a beautiful cutter by JT Dunn on Holiday. This may be it. Oh, near three count. How many near falls have we had, Noel? Uh, I lost count so far. Wow. I almost want to agree with the crowd that that may have been a three count if the ref Look, was in position. JT Dunn is disrobing all his wrestling gear here. What's happening? JT Dunn, it's frustration setting in. He is beside himself, taking off the tapes on his hand. What is he doing, Noel? He's had it. I think JT is losing it all. He's going after Holiday with everything he has right now. 
JT Dunn taking his time, laying in wait, stalking Holiday, who's in the middle of the canvas. He's signaling for the JT death by going elbow. high risk. JT going to the top rope. No, what do you see here? Holiday's getting to Holiday's, his feet. Holiday has gotten a little movement. Holiday to his feet. Here they are, both men the top rope. They're going up to the top No, High rent district, what's gonna happen? High risk, JT is blocking the superplex. Oh, a beautiful headbutt down, Big Holiday. headbutt. Here he is, top rope, no. Beautiful double stop to the back of the neck. In between the shoulder blades, unbelievable. Beautiful Sliced reversal. bread. Here's this the may be it for JT. Wow, another near three count. This match could have went either way so this far, is, Noel. This is why Holiday is ranked in the PWI Top 500 for moments like that. Well, no, I have amnesia and deja vu at the same time. I think I've forgotten this before. <laughs> JT and Holiday, the stamina, the energy, the levels of these two athletes is second to none here at Diesel Mania 3. You can't make it up, Noel. Absolutely, I watched this match and I realized that this is the standard that they set. This is the bar that everyone else that comes before and after them has to watch and has to match up against. That's an excellent breakdown, an excellent analysis. Nice right hand to the Holiday gym. Holiday had that elbow scouted. Big boot by Dunn. These men are very familiar with each other. Body press into a reversal. Float over. Look at the strength on Holiday. Unbelievable. Try to get into a body slam. Reversal. Big right hand by JT. Holiday looking more frustrated than anything else. Left to right. Holiday unleashing in the corner, Noel. Oh, they look like he's going to town on a heavy bag today. Well, Bill Thompson broke it up. He can't hit him with closed fist. He can't hit him with a closed fist, Noel. Holiday's got to let the emotion not take over. He's got to oh, and JT stay on his game. Bill Thompson into him. Big forearm. Big elbow. JT. Down goes Holiday. Here's the cover. Oh, I, did. I almost said it again, Noel. I almost said it. JT in utter disbelief right now. Probably wondering what he has to do to put Holiday away for the day. I've never seen Holiday with a reversal out of nowhere. Reversal, here it is. Put it in the box. Holiday out of nowhere. Wins. Holiday stole that. I don't know if he stole it, no, but Holiday is your winner over JT Dunn, pro wrestling savior. You can't make it up. That was a five star match. JT hit a beautiful spinning elbow and Holiday caught him off guard, rolled him up by surprise for a beautiful three count. And the winner of our bout, Richard Holiday. JT Dunn is in stunned belief. Richard Holiday, the most marketable man in wrestling. The consumers are buzzing. Whether he stole it or didn't steal it, he won the matchup goal. JT Dunn, still in the ring. Stunned disbelief. As much as I'm a fan of the most marketable man in pro wrestling, you don't get to the top by doing everything the way you're supposed to. You gotta cut some corners. Pro wrestling savior JT Dunn, most marketable man, Mr. Holiday, Diesel Mania 3, what a matchup, no, the Guardian of Chaos, what are we gonna do next, the Big Rumble! We're waiting for the Big Rumble right now, 20 men over the top, the Michael D'Angelo Memorial Rumble coming up next don't here at Diesel Mania 3. Don't you dare miss it! I am the Guardian of Chaos, Big Daddy, and I tell it like it is. Tonight, standing to the right of me, is Big Jim Anderson. And you tonight, Jim, will lead the Meadowlands monster into the 20-man rumble. Big Jim, I want you to tell all the fans out there for Diesel Mania 3 and Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling about yourself and the seven-foot giant. You see, Paradise Alley, what happens when an injured animal gets cornered? He goes out and finds a bigger animal. Tonight, in the 20 man over the top row battle royal, you're looking at the odds on favorite. Folks, there you heard it from Big Jim Anderson and the Meadowlands Monster. I gotta get out of here! Folks, I am the guardian of chaos, Big Daddy, and I tell it like it is. Here representing Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling and Diesel Mania 3. Standing to the right of me is the Paradise Alley United States Heavyweight Champion, Sergeant Murray. Now, Sarge, you're not defending the title tonight, but you are entered 
in the 20-man battle royal, the 20-man rumble, if you will. Tell the fans out there, Sarge, what they're in store for from the United States champion. First of all, hold this. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. I love odds. I love the big numbers. I don't care. They got some freak, some seven-foot monster from the Meadowlands. Last time I checked, there was a garbage dump underneath that joint, and they ripped it down. Isn't that where the Giants play? Oh, yeah, they stink, too. Anyway, this guy right here loves the odds. He loves the big numbers. And I said it before, and I said it again. I'm going to be the winner of the first annual Diesel D'Angelo Battle Royal because I don't care how big you are. I don't care how many there are. What we do in the military, what we do where I'm from, is we dig, we claw, we scratch, and we win. So I'm gonna take this right here, and I'm not defending it, but it's coming out with me. Who Tonight, folks, Sergeant Murray and the Michael J. D'Angelo Battle Royal Rumble. I am the guardian of chaos, Big Daddy, and I tell it like it is, here tonight at Diesel Mania 3, now, standing to the right of me are a group of men that I may not be too crazy about, but it's not about me. It's about Diesel Mania 3, and it's about the Michael J. D'Angelo Rumble tonight. The Pyramids of Power, Allah Ding Ding, Allah Dean, and Abdul Haq. Tell the fans what they're in store for in the 20-man Rumble. Let me just step out of the picture here. Yes. Go ahead, Hawk. The floor is yours. I believe your job is done here for now. Well, thank you. Thank you, Hawk. Tonight, Dieselmania 3, Joseph Melillo Middle School, the Battle Royal, my pyramids of power are in the Battle Royal. And my pyramids of power will, as usual, make a definite impact. Tonight, 20 will fall. This, we come in. <laughs> I am the guardian of chaos, Big Daddy. Here representing Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling. Tonight, folks, at Diesel Mania 3, we're about ready to get jiggy with it. Look who's standing to the right of me. The flamboyant one, Kenny Roberts, who's in the Michael J. D'Angelo Rumble here tonight. That's right. The mentality for tonight is one thing. To quote J-Rock, is win, 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 win. Everybody, over the top rope. You're going, baby. I'm about to... I'm about to bounce rock and roller skate down that aisle, doing what I do best, drop a couple elbows, boom. And you know what? That's a big 10 for show. Folks, we're gonna get jiggy with it tonight with Kenny Roberts, Diesel Mania 3. Don't you dare miss it. Tonight, folks, Diesel Mania 3. I am the guardian of chaos, Big Daddy, and here to the right of me are three more entrants in the Michael J. D'Angelo Rumble tonight. Now, gentlemen, I'm not familiar with all your games. I'm sure you guys have plenty of game, but tell the fans out there who you are and what you think your chances are tonight in the Michael J. D'Angelo Rumble at Diesel Mania 3. The floor is yours, gentlemen. Allow me. My name's Ian Griffin. And if these two are what the competition's gonna be, I'm gonna have a no trouble winning being the winner. Really? Competition? Yeah, competition. Man, you haven't competition. been competition since what? 1980s? Please. Oh. I'm RJ Boom. And the, you know what? This is RJ my first Boom. time here at Diesel Mania. And you know what? I don't know what I'm doing around him or him. I'm, I'm Nate Nastic. I'm the best to win this whole thing. That's it. Folks, there you have it. Three more in Diesel Mania 3. Rumble tonight. Don't you dare miss it. What? What? Folks, tonight, Diesel Mania 3, the 20-man Michael J. D'Angelo Rumble. Standing to the right of me is one of those entrants, five-star Jace. Now, Jace, tell the other 19 competitors what they're in store for tonight in the Michael J. D'Angelo Rumble. That's easy. What I do everywhere I go is I make a statement. I might not win tonight. I might lose. But I guarantee by the, end of the by the end of the time I leave here, I will take out the biggest, I will take out the baddest, and I will take out the oldest in this damn battle royal. Best believe that. Thank you very much for your time, brother. Don't you dare miss it. Five-star Jace. 
I am the guardian of chaos, Big Daddy, and I tell it like it is. Here tonight at Diesel Mania 3 for the 20-man rumble for the Michael J. D'Angelo Scholarship Foundation. Now, folks, standing to the right of me are two more participants in the Diesel Rumble tonight. Here they are, folks. Southern discomfort. Tell them what you're going to do in the Rumble, yeah, boys. Well, now we're going to enter into this Rumble. Oh, yeah. There's two of us that no doubles our odds of winning, right? Each of us, there's 20. Minus oh, wow. us, there's... 11. There's one. Oh, 10. 10. 10. 10 for both of us. 10 I for each. 10. You get 10. Yep. No and, problem, boy. And then when it's just us two, I'm going to win. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to win. No, yes, no, we discussed this. Yeah, we do. I'm going to win. No, I'm, I'm going to win. No, no. Five. You said you was going to go over the top rope. No, I said I throw them over the top rope, and then you go, you go over the I win. No, boy. You didn't, that's not what we talked about. Come on, Bobby. You know? Listen. You'll see when we get there, right? <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Get out of here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Our next match will be the Michael J. D'Angelo Memorial Royal Rumble! Your referees for this match will be L. Ref and E. Hawk. The match begins with two competitors in the ring. Participants will join every minute afterwards. And to be eliminated, competitors will be thrown out over the top rope and both feet need to hit the floor. The winner will be declared when there is only one competitor left in the ring. L. Ref and E-Hawk are gonna have their hands full today for this Royal Rumble. That's a point well taken. So well, here we go, the 20-man rumble, the Michael J. D'Angelo rumble. And let's, no, let's get I'm, jiggy with it, baby. I'm let's ready get, to jiggy, get with jiggy with it. it. Come on, bad news. Kenny Show Roberts. What you got, baby. Give it to Give me, me, baby. Baby. Hey, I'm gonna say this. Like Dave Chappelle, I'm Rick James, bitch! They told me I'm not allowed to say that. From Hartford, Connecticut, here's the flamboyant one, Kenny Roberts! I don't care if I'm showing favoritism, Kenny Roberts has got to be one of my favorites here in Paradise Alley. Well, there he is, no, the flamboyant one in all his splendor. Kenny Roberts is getting jiggy with it. Absolutely, this crowd loves Kenny. Well, let's see if Kenny Roberts has the stamina and the testicular fortitude to be the first man in the Michael J. D'Angelo Rumble. You gotta remember, every 30 seconds, a new competitor comes into the ring until all 20 men are in the ring. Let's see who comes out number two. This is gonna be one hell of a matchup. I'm looking forward to it. Diesel Mania 3, folks, Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling. I remember this music, no, I've heard this music before. As a matter of fact, we saw him earlier. We saw him screw over Nucleus X, his former partner, Gino screw over. Gino has been absent from Paradise Alley for some time now and made his presence well known. And here we are from the sexy world order, Gino, starting up with the flamboyant one, Kenny Roberts. Here's my man, Mont. Big Lamont is here ringside. <laughs> Student of Paul Roma's professional wrestling school, Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling. And here we go, the 20 man remembrance battle royal for Michael J. D'Angelo. And there's the bell from we Bad are News underway. Bob. We are underway. You gotta remember, earlier Sexy World Order, Gino screwed over the King of Paradise, Nutrius X, and his matchup with Adrian Vine. I don't like it. I don't think he should have screwed over his partner, the King of Paradise. But anyway, we're on to the Michael J. D'Angelo Rumble. Kenny Roberts, Gino from the Sexy World Order to open things up here, my friend. Let's see who has the stamina. Hold on, Noel. Did you say plenty of exercise? I get that by jumping to conclusions, pushing my luck, and dodging deadlines. <laughs> Kenny Roberts, the truck with Dusty Rhodes. Beautiful atomic drop. There it is, the big elbow, a la Dusty Rhodes. Dusty. The tribute to the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. Wait, Gino. Wait. He threw Gino over the top rope, but Gino held on. Gino saved himself. Gino trying to take over, back in the ring. Beautiful Hold sunset on. flip. Kenny Roberts set him up. Beautiful spinning back heel kick. Excellent. Here he is, here it is, baby. Wait, who's coming in next? Here's our third competitor. We got Gino and Kenny Roberts in the ring. Who's coming in? 
Who's this? Who's next? Gino taking over on Kenny Roberts in the ring. No, we'll see who's coming in. Who's our third competitor? Good music. Now making his way to the ring. Flash Waller! Oh, Here's the rookie Connecticut. sensation, Flash Waller! Waller. Look at Waller! Against Dino, beautiful fight, pressed by Flash Waller. Kenny Roberts picks him up like yesterday's garbage. What's Roberts gonna do? He throws him away. Flash with a beautiful drop kick. What a drop Textbook. kick by Flash Waller. Roma prodigy, Flash Waller, unbelievable. Taking over on Gino, but Gino lifts him up. Got him into a backbreaker, Noel. Beautiful into it. Beautiful maneuver by Gino, unbelievable. We'll go with it. Here's your first three competitors, Kenny Roberts, Gino from the Sexy World Order, Flash Waller. Here comes our fourth competitor. Number four. Who is it? We're breaking down here. Kenny Roberts is in, Gino from the Sexy World Order. The rookie sensation, Roma prodigy, Flash Waller is in the ring. And here he is, Mr. Mr. Intellectual, Tavius. Pennsylvania. Tavius Mr. is in great shape, look at him. Octavius. He goes right after Gino. Big forearm by Tavius. Look at the agility. Another, look at the kick up. Another All rookie. Grapplers. Another Roma train sensation. The intellectual Tavius. So in the ring, Gino taking over on Tavius. Sexy world order. Gino, Gino lifted out. We thought Tavius had him. Nice kick by Tavius. Hey, Tavius with the first elimination of Tavius his Tavius Rumble. eliminates uh, Gino. And now it looks like Tavius and Flash Waller have formed some sort of team against a much larger Kenny Roberts. The rookie connection is gonna go after the flamboyant one. They're beating down Kenny Roberts. The two rookie sensations are beating him down. Look at this. Roberts opened up a can of whoop ass. Double Kenny, elbow. double elbows. A la Dusty Rhodes, double elbow. Introducing down goes that. Flash Waller, down goes Tavius. Number five is Nate Nastic, a newcomer here at Paradise Alley. And here he comes, Nate Nastic. He looks like he's not playing any games. Nate Nastic. Going he's straight after the intellectual. Here he is, Nate Nastic taking over on Tavius. Kenny Roberts taking over on Flash Waller. Both men in the corner right in front of us. Nate Nastic. Putting a boost to Tavius. We had the opportunity to talk to Nate earlier on today, and he said that nobody stands a chance against him in this rumble. Now's his time to shine. Look at this right in front of us. Nate Nastic is trying to throw Tavius out. Tavius, Tavius is holding up on our, worth. on our commentary table. Kenny Roberts has Flash Waller tied up in the ropes. Flash holding on with just his legs currently. It's breaking down here in front of us. I can't believe the shape of Tavius. He's ripped, he's jacked, he's shredded wheat. Introducing nice next, from Yasser County, Mississippi, Big Bobby double Lutus, Aaron five, Douglas, double Southern even know Discomfort. What I'm saying, Noel. That was just a double chest bump. Here comes Southern Discomfort. What are they doing in here? They look like they're half in the bag, Noel. Southern Discomfort. Are they, are they a newcomer to Paradise Alley? Because this is the first time I'm seeing them here. I, this is my first time seeing Southern Discomfort, but I saw them in a locker room and I thought they were having a shot of Jack Daniels. I thought they were one of the crowd here at Paradise Alley. Well, listen, they look like they're half in the bag, Southern Discomfort. Nate Nastic trying to throw Southern Discomfort out. And Nate there he Nastic. is. First half of Southern Discomfort is out. Nate Nastic already living up to what he said earlier on. Kenny Roberts right in front of us taking over on Tavius. Flash Waller still in it. Rookie sensation, Roma prodigy, Flash Waller still in. Flash Waller getting a breath while he can. Kenny Nate Nastic going after him. On Southern Discomfort. Nate Nastic and Tavius taking over, double team and Flash Waller. Ian Griffin, another newcomer here to Paradise Alley. Here is another new Paradise Alley. Look at the size of Ian Griffin. Look at that size of those ham hocks. He's the biggest competitor in the ring right now. Big right hand. Big boot! Hey, I think we both said it at the same time. We did. Beer, Consider it done. Oh, Tavius with a big body slam on Flash Waller. The two rookie sensations going at it. Kenny Roberts tying up Nate Nastic in the corner. Ian looking to take Ian the other Griffin. half of Southern Discomfort. One half of Southern Discomfort. I think I smell whiskey or booze or something, unless that's coming from you, Noel. It's not coming from me. I, I don't drink. Or at least not before the matches. <laughs> Look at that. Ian Griffin choking out Southern Discomfort in the Tavius corner. Tavius with a beautiful chop on Flash. Tavius and Flash Waller, the two Roma rookie prodigies in the corner. Kenny Roberts laying the smack down on Nate Nastic. But here, Nate Nastic coming back. Who's our next competitor, Noel? Who's coming in? 
Zachariah again after a successful title Zachariah defense. He's making his way into the room. He's in like a house of fire. Here he is, your Intercontinental Champion, Zachariah Gibbs. He's coming in like a horse without a buggy. <laughs> Big clothesline by Tavius on Flash Waller. Kenny Roberts being choked out by Ian Griffin right in front of us. Southern Discomfort, the other half, was eliminated. Zachariah Zachari Gibbs has been eliminated. So now I believe that's both members of Southern Discomfort that have been eliminated. Both members have been eliminated. Uh, here we are now. Ian Griffin taking over on Nate Nastic. Kenny Roberts right here in front of us on Queer Street. Tavius and Flash Waller in the corner. Zachariah Gibbs beating his snot out of both of them. Flash Waller looking for a sleeper hold. Not going to be very effective in a rumble when you have to pick someone and toss him over the top rope. It's a valid point, Noel. Kenny Roberts taking over on Tavius. Zachariah Gibbs stomping a Mississippi mud hole on Flash Waller. Ian Griffin with Nate Nastic in the corner. Who's next? Uh -oh. Uh oh I've heard this music before. One of the pyramids of power. I don't know if we're going to the camera. Go racing the camera. Oh, racing. I don't know what's going on here. Aladine Both pyramids of power, Aladdin and Aladdin. The they are going to make their presence felt today. The former Paradise Alley professional wrestling tag team champion. Ala Ding Ding and Ala Dean, the Pyramids of Power have hit the ring and they're taking over on Tavius, Zachariah Gibbs, Kenny Roberts, Flash Waller, Nate Nastic, Ian Griffin. I can't say anymore. Unbelievable. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grapplers in the ring for the Michael J. D'Angelo Remembrance Rumble. Ala Dean taking over on Zachariah Gibbs right in front of us. Ala Dean, the much more experienced veteran. Zachariah Gibbs, don't let, don't let his inexperience take you by surprise. Well, you know what I've noticed, Noel? Between Flash Waller, Tavius, Zachariah Gibbs, Nate Nastic, we have a lot of young, youthful veterans in this Michael J. D'Angelo Remembrance Rumble. Who's next, Noel? I can't see who's coming out. It and looks like that? Bullet Joe. Bullet Joe. Wait, El Rap is trying to stop Bullet. Wait, I don't tell him that. Wait, that there on, is a height requirement. El Rev said he doesn't meet the height requirement. Hey, but here comes the Giants. Now the Giant is putting the bullet. Now they qualify. Wait, they're being measured by El Rev. They qualify to be tall enough to be in the rumble. So here comes the now Giant and the bullet. Rob, the Together they make one full Going after Ian goal. Wallington. The Giant taking over on Ian Griffin. All the other grapplers are in stunned beliefs. Did you say exercise? I thought you said extra fries. <laughs> Zachariah Gibbs has been eliminated by Kenny Zachariah Roberts. Gibbs Mennonites all over eliminated. the world are disappointed that Zachariah Gibbs has been eliminated. There is, listen, it's pure pandemonium in the ring. Flash Waller's right in front of us. Kenny Roberts taking over. Tavius is still in. Aladine. Big headbutt by Aladdin. Ian Griffin Pyramids is still of power in. versus the minis. Nate Nastic is still in. Here comes our next competitor. No, I want you to scout the competitor. I'll keep an eye on the racks action in the ring. Look at that pyramids of power taking over on the bullet. They're gonna throw him head first at the Flash Waller. Head first at the Ian Griffin. Big Steve Tracy. Wait. One half of all. Here he is. Now making his way to the Big ring. Big Steve Tracy. From Big Steve Big Tracy Bailey. Tracy! Diadamo and Tracy Mailbox. Ian Griffin has been eliminated. Big Steve is Big in the Steve ring. Is in the ring. He Go throws out Nate Nastic. Nastic. It has been eliminated. Big Steve throws out Nate Nastic. What elimination. Big Steve clobbers Aladdin. Look at the size of Big Steve Tracy. A forearm shiver over goes Aladdin. Out goes Nate Nastic. Nate Nastic has been eliminated. Big Steve has leveled Ala Ding Ding. Ala Dean getting eliminated by Robbie the Giant. No, that can't happen. Look at Big now Steve. He's slapping the Rumble shit out of Ala Ding Ding. And Mario here comes Mancini, Mario. the other half of old school. Mancini. Here comes New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer, Mario Mancini, my broadcast partner from the Mario and Chaos show. And he's taking over on the rookies. He's taking over on Tavius. Beautiful stunner by Mario Mancini. Old school has hit the ring. Mancini taking over on Aladdin. Big Steve taking over on Kenny Roberts. Aladdin headbutts Mancini. Big Steve with a right to Aladdin. The Giant has Aladdin in the corner. The Bullet has Flash Waller. 
big clothesline by Big Z. Aladdin is rocking and reeling right now. I am beside myself, though. Unbelievable. Old school's a little unsure what to do, but they are not playing by the rules today. Old school never plays by the rules. And there's Mancini. He eliminates Aladdin. Aladdin is out. But to replace him is collusion. That is getting ready to throw off Flash Waller. Back to Morozov. And Zafar Al Rahidi just saved Aladini. Mario Mancini, old school. And here comes Zafir, Zafir Al Rahidi and Maxim Morozov. Mancini with a big clothesline on Rahidi. You can't make it up. Look at all the competitors. It's breaking down here. No, I don't Mancini, even know what the hell Mancini is saying. Mancini looking a little confused by all the competitors in the ring right now. Big head butt by Mancini on Flash Waller. Big, Big Steve. Steve Tracy. Stalking Absolutely Ala being Ding -Ding. an in-ring commander. Big chop to Ala Ding Ding. Maxim Morozov gives his own to the intellect, Tavius. Here's Morozov. Choking Robbie Ding -Ding. the Giant. Big Steve throws out Ala Ding Ding. Ala Ding Ding has been eliminated. Big Steve has eliminated like four grapplers. Introducing next. Look at that. From Hartford, the Giant has a titty twister on Maxim Morozov. RJ Boom. Boom. Another newcomer here to Paradise Alley. That. The Giant has a titty twister on Morozov. Big Steve is right in front of us, putting a boost to the rookie sensation, Tavius. Paul Roma prodigy. Mancini taking over Manc on the Boom. <laughs> Mancini with tons of punches on RJ Boom. Al Zafir Al Rahihi on Kenny Roberts in the corner. Morozov slaps the taste out of the Giant. Half a Giant. Old school looking to make this ring their own, just like back in 1984. Mancini grabbed a proboscis of Tavius. Big Steve's right in front of me. Again, the proboscis by Mancini on Tavius. Zafir al Rahi, he's been eliminated by Kenny Robbins. Introducing next. Mancini from the Mario <laughs> Chaos Zone. Here's my partner. Mancini, Anderson. I need you to throw Watson everybody Watson out, Mancini. Throw them all out. Throw one out. The Mancini, what are you doing Monster. in the ring, Mancini? Holy by George. Look at this monster coming through oh. right now with Big Jim Anderson. Oh Big, Big Jim, Jim Anderson, Anderson, who is no small man in his own right, is look like the seven foot monster, John and Judy Clark. Help me, please. Here he is, the Meadowlands monster. The Meadowlands monster. He's been one step Big over Steve the top row. Kenny Roberts has been eliminated by Big Steve. Big chop, I think he just collapsed the chest oh, of Flash Waller. Face to face, Mancini and the Metal Lance Monster, and Big Steve. Mancini and Big Steve taking over on the Metal Lance Monster. He's not moving. Down goes Mancini. Mancini having flashbacks to 1991 and Chains of the Undertaker. Look at this. The Metal Lance Monster. Metal Lance Monster. To the top rope. Chains of the Undertaker and Mancini. Old school. He's walking the ropes. Beautiful Mancini. Mancini must be having flashbacks. Big Jim Anderson no, right by our side. Here he is. From Hall and here comes the stars. Stars said he's coming in to clear house Sarge. and take this rumble home. Big Steve Burn. and the Meadowlands Monster are slugging it out. Big Steve is taking it to the Meadowlands Monster. I can't believe it. Big, Big Steve. Jim Anderson going after Mario Mancini, and it's all legal. Big Jim Anderson was choking out Mancini. What's going on? We Robbie got the, the giant, giant right trying to take a nap on our commentary table. Sergeant Murray has hit the ring. Sergeant Murray taking over on Morozov. Look at this. Noah, look in the corner. Um, it's the Meadowlands monster and Big Steve Tracy. Two behemoths, two giants. Sergeant Murray Big taking over Octavius. The giant's right here in front of us. Get back in the ring, giant. Don't be a coward. Get back in the ring. Mancini, grab the midget, Mancini. Grab the Introducing midget. Introducing next, from the great nation, Adam Chandler. The Great! Who is this? Adam, Adam Chandler, Chandler the, the great. great! Look at the size of this guy, he's in great shape! And he takes over on Mancini! Adam Chandler going straight after old school. Big Mr. leg drop by the Meadowlands Monster. has been eliminated. Tavius has been eliminated. RJ, RJ Boom! Boom. Is out of here. But a Metal Lance Boom Monster has been eliminated. Let's break down who's left, Noel. Big Steve Tracy, the Metal Lance Monster, Sergeant Murray, Mario Mancini, Flash Waller, the Giant, the Bullet, Maxim Morozov. Alexander Chandler? Alexander Chandler, the Great. 
I want to see Big Steve in a Meadowlands monster. Here he is right in front of us, Big Steve Tracy. Old school. My brothers, 35 years. Five my star chase. Old school. Introducing Flash Waller, a big From guy. Anywhere but Landing here. on a Meadowlands monster. Five star what the hell chase. just happened? Flash Waller off the top rope on a Meadowlands monster. Mario. Mancini set him up. That's my nutcracker right there by Mancini. Mario not playing nice today. You see that garbage? Big Jim Anderson is beside himself. Big Jim Anderson is not happy. Big Steve is going to grab the Meadowlands monster. Look at him. How Big Steve, a big right to the chin of the Meadowlands monster. Mancini taking over on the great. Max Big Steve Amorazov. is beating the tar out of the Meadowlands monster. Mancini taking over on, on the great. Alexander Chandler, Flash the great. Has been Flash Waller has been eliminated by Maxim Morozov. I'll give Flash Waller a lot of credit. He stayed in there to Roma Prodigy for a long time. Sergeant Murray attacked by Maxim Morozov as he was Maxim Morozov and Sergeant Murray have a history of bad blood. They certainly do. USA and Russia. Robbie the Giant are. going after the monster. The monster with Robbie the Giant. He's Two giants giant. are facing off. Five star chase. Five star chase against Alexander the Great. Big power slam, Jace is in big trouble. Maxim Morozov letting the Sarge know who's in charge. Mancini taking Mancini over Mancini with Russian. a beautiful double axe handle. No, the action is fast and furious. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Big Jim Anderson is still lurking outside the ring. Alexander Chandler the Great has five star the, Jace in the corner. The bullet going after Maxim Morozov, making his presence felt all over. And Sergeant Beautiful Murray Mother Russia. Sergeant Murray taking on the Meadowlands monster. Murray with a beautiful double forearm. I don't know what the hell it is, Noel. Beautiful. Monster slams him. Chase he stays in the match. The Meadowlands monster picked up Sergeant Murray like he was a child and slammed him on a belly to belly in the center that of the is, ring. That is no easy task. Sergeant Murray is no small man. Mancini was taking on Alexander Chandler the Great, the Meadowlands monster. Big Steve Tracy doing the smart thing, hanging out in the corner, gaining his faculties. Look at the size of the men in the middle of the ring. The Back monster. and forth. Five star Jace went for the spinning clothesline, and it didn't affect the monster. He's trying to give him a hug. It's not going to happen. Here's a big choke slam on Jace. Beautiful, Beautiful. choke slam by the Meadowlands monster. Making his presence more than felt here today. Sergeant Murray still in the ring. Metal Lance Monster. Five star Eliminates Jace. Five star Jace. Finally Big eliminated. Steve Tracy and Mancini are still in the ring. Mancini's five got a, a weird smirk on his face. What's Mancini thinking? Mancini's got to be thinking Wait. this is back in 1984, bringing him right back to his roots. Look at that. Alexander Chandler the Great against the Meadowlands Monster. Big clothesline, big forearm by the Great. Meadowlands Monster is rocking and reeling. The Giant and the Bullet going for the Monster. Wait, the Midgets, no. No, say, the no giant, way. The bullet, no way. No, they eliminated the Meadowlands Monster. Oh my, oh my, oh my Lord. Oh my. What the crowd is going crazy. Monster has the crowd is going insane for the Monster. And Big Steve has the Bullet. He threw out the Bullet. Mancini's getting the other half of the Midgets and he throws out the Giant. Both of the minis. Rob the Giant has you call been eliminated. You call them minis, I call them midgets. Here's your final. Meadowlands Monster is not happy on the outside. Big Jim had to cool him off. Let's get back to the ring. We're Alexander down to our final Chandler. five. Old school, Maxim Morozov, Sergeant Murray, and Alex Chandler the Great. Folks, here we are. Noel from Gold Pro just broke it down. Our final five competitors in the Michael J. D'Angelo Alex Rumble. Alex in the corner. Big Steve with a big splash. Big splash on Alexander Chandler the Great. Sergeant Murray, Maxim Morozov. They're taking their old rivalry and they're working in the corner all by themselves. Mancini throws out Alexander Chandler like yesterday's garbage. Beautiful maneuver by Mancini. Adam Chandler the Great has been Murray's eliminated. Murray's been eliminated by Morozov. I can't Sergeant believe it. Eliminated. Sergeant Murray we have has been school. eliminated. Maxim Morozov. The odds are stacked against Mother Russia Mancini right now. Mancini comes up behind Morozov. Oh, wait. That's I, my nutcracker again, Noel. I saw nothing. Morozov gonna throw Mancini out, no! What's Big Steve Tracy doing? 
Mancini tossed over the top rope by Morozov. Mancini eliminated. Big Steve. Mario Mancini. Throws over Mancini Morozov. Eliminated. Here's your winner, Big Steve Tracy. Big Steve oh, has eliminated. Big Steve won the Michael D'Angelo Battle Rumble Royal Rumble. Here is As your Hawk winner. Raises the hand. Big That's glorious. Steve. Big Steve Tracy. Crazy rumble I've ever seen in my, la my life. The 2018 Diesel Mania 3 Michael J. D'Angelo Battle Royal Rumble winner, old school Big Steve Tracy. Big Steve Tracy hasn't laced up a pair of boots in I don't know how many years. Wait, wait, here's his partner, Mancini. Mancini held his own. He is the New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer. That's why he held his own. He made it down to the final four. Here he is, Big Steve Tracy, Mario Mancini, old school reign supreme. Mother Mike Russia Broad did not reign supreme today. The Mario and old Chaos school, show. bringing Mario it back Mancini, to 1985 winner, here at Paradise Big Steve Alley. Steve Tracy. Folks, there it is, the Michael J. D'Angelo Rumble in remembrance at Diesel Mania 3. Your winners, old school Big Steve Tracy and Mario Mancini. Shades of 1985 with old school Mario Mancini, Big Steve Tracy, Shades of the Undertaker with the Meadowlands Monster, Big Steve Tracy taking it home today for Paradise Alley. It doesn't get any better than that, Dieselmania 3. I am the Guardian of Chaos, Big Daddy, here representing Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling and Dieselmania 3. Now fans, standing to the right of me is a man that's surrounded and swirling in controversy. It is the Paradise Alley Heavyweight Champion, Showtime Marcel Williams. Now champ, before you get started here at Diesel Mania 3 tonight, we're gonna talk about your opponent, you can elaborate on what happened at Crazy 8s and why you have a, the same opponent from Crazy 8s tonight here at Diesel Mania 3 and the decision that the powers that be Mario Mancini made in regards to you defending your title at the Mohegan Sun Casino. Well, we're past that and the gamble is on the line, Showtime. Let the fans know about what's going to happen tonight at Diesel Mania 3 and the Paradise Alley Heavyweight title. Tonight is a special night, Big Daddy. It is showtime. It's a special night for PAPW because one, it's a farewell match for Showtime Marcel Williams for PAPW. That's one. Was this breaking news? No, it's been around. Showtime been around. But the second big, missing, the most important thing about this is this is the final time you're going to see this. You know why? Because time after time, I had this title for 200 plus days. And what challenge has they gave me? Well, challenge. well Showtime, I am going to name some of your challenges. You've had worthy competition here in Paradise Alley. Now, have you had the creme de la creme, the cream of the crop? Well, that's up to the powers that be. Pretty Paul Roma, Paul Perez, Big Steve Tracy, and Mario Mancini. I tell you what. But I will say this. I will defend you, Showtime. I tell you you have held on to the title. Tonight, let's talk about the man that, in my opinion, I'm going to say this. The man I beat? The man you beat, you had him for a 10 count at Crazy 8's at the Mohegan Sun. I called the match. It was a 10 count. Yes. But why are you having them meet rematch tonight with, and I'll say his name since you're refusing to say it, the dagger, Mick Drake. The only reason this match is even happening because the company is against me since day one. Since I won this and beat their golden boy, Richard Holiday, every since then, I've been going through obstacles through this company. But tonight, I'm going to do something that nobody else ever done in this company. I'm going to take this title home and I'm going to throw it in the trash. So Mick Drake, all the weight is on your shoulders tonight. Because the company needs you as their poster boy to take this away from me. You couldn't beat me at Crazy Ace. And tonight will be the repeat because I'm walking out still the reigning and defending PAPW champion and the last PAPW champion. Chuck suckers, I'm done. Folks, there you heard it from an angry and bitter heavyweight champion, Showtime Marcel Williams. Don't you dare miss it. Folks, I am the guardian of chaos. Standing next to me is the dagger, Mick Drake. Now, I'm going to give you a brief rundown, folks. Diesel Mania 3 tonight. Mick will go for his rematch against the heavyweight champion, Showtime Marcel Williams. Now, Mick, 
Tell the fans what happened at Crazy Eights, a match you legitimately won, and how you ended up here at Diesel Mania 3 for your rematch for the heavyweight title in Showtime. Well, oh, look, I don't get caught up in what did happen, what didn't happen, who cheated who. Listen, I don't make excuses, all right? Bottom line, he walked out with that championship. I didn't. Tonight, things are going to be a little bit different. Marcel's tonight, I am going to take the PAPW championship from you. All right, I pride myself on being all around the country. Everywhere I go, I get respect and I don't have it from you. That's all right. It's okay. Tonight I'm gonna earn it. Tonight I'm gonna take it. So tonight I'm walking out of PAPW with two things. One, your respect. Two, the PAPW championship. Now, it is time for the main event of the evening, and it is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the Paradise well, I guess Alley the hell with the Wrestling raffle there, no Heavyweight Pro, Championship. All right, Noel, here we go. This is the main event of the evening. It's for the Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, a rematch from Crazy Ace that was ordered by Mario Mancini, and a chicanery from Crazy Ace at Mohegan Sun between Showtime Marcel Williams and the Dagger McDrake. Break it down. I wasn't at the show for Crazy 8, but I saw it live on YouTube. I got to see a whole mess of confusion. I believe Marcel had Mick Drake down for a 10 count. At least a 10 count. I saw it live. Now making his way to the ring for his that final Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling match. He hails from the court. And weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Showtime, Marcel Williams! Well, no, here he is. He has laid down the gauntlet. He has laid down the rules. You'll see the promo at the beginning of the show. There's a lot of controversy surrounding Showtime Marceau Williams. Swirling in controversy. He's not a happy champion. He's defending his belt tonight against the dagger. It all stems from Mario Mancini, the front office, and Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling. Showtime is an unhappy champion. This could be next. his last match in Paradise opponent. Alley. From New York City, weighing in at 243 And he's taking pounds. that championship belt he is home with him the dagger, Mick. Well, you know what, Noel? The dagger Mick Drake may have something to say about that. He almost won and perhaps should have won at Crazy 8 at Mohegan Sun. Here's the rematch ordered by Mancini. Showtime said he's going to take the belt with him when he leaves the company, but Mick Drake has a lot to say about that. One little bit of history. If it weren't for Mick Drake, Marcel Williams probably would not even be the Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling Champion. It was the match between Mick Drake and Richard Holiday where Marcel Williams cashed in his contracts and took home the championship. Well, Noel, it's good to see that you're doing your homework. You're a student of the game. That's why you hang out, no hang out with Andrew K and GoPro Wrestling because it doesn't get better than GoPro on Andrew K. Here it is. <laughs> Here's the matchup. Showtime Marcel Williams, the defending champion against the dagger Mick Drake. Do you know that Mick Drake graduated from Rutgers University? And I he could actually dunk, slam dunk a basketball? I didn't know he could slam dunk a basketball, but I also know in his spare time, he enjoys being a lawyer. Absolutely. Do you know, do you see what Marcel Williams just did? He slapped the taste out of the mouth of Mick Drake. Mick Drake isn't gonna let that go. He's gonna hold on to that and he's gonna pay him back. Well, folks. Diesel Mania 3 has been a rousing success. The crowd is here. It's jammed to capacity. Michael J. D'Angelo, scholarship fund. The Rumble was won by old school Big Steve Tracy. Now we have the main event, Showtime Marcel Williams. Here's referee El Ref, El Gallo Tres Huevos, handing over the gold to Noel. I think we're going down to the porn shop. And there's the bell. Bad news, Bob. Finally got it right for the main event. And here we go. Main event, Showtime Marcel Williams, Mick Drake. Look at the shape on Mick Drake. He is in phenomenal shape. Mick Drake looks like a wrestling prototype. Well, you know what Bad News Bob used to say right now, Marcel Williams thinks this is a conspiracy. And you know how Bad News spells conspiracy? C-O-N, spiracy. <laughs> 
That's a tribute to the ring boy. Big clothesline by Mick Drake to open things up here in the main event. He may no. have just knocked Marcel out of his boots with that clothesline. Marcel well, running for the hills. Well, you know what? He's smart. He took a powder, gave him his faculties. Uh, Mick Drake took over on a couple of power maneuvers to open up things here for the championship of Paradise Alley here at Diesel Mania 3. Marcel asking for a timeout. Sorry, Marcel, we do not do timeouts in pro wrestling. Well, I'm going to say that to say this, Noel. A liberal is just a conservative that hasn't been mugged yet. <laughs> I don't want to get too political here at Paradise Alley. We do have the Kavanaugh hearings going on. Let's not get crazy. Oh, they went for the collar and elbow, but a nice stomp by Showtime Marcel Williams. Noel's beside himself here at ringside in the broadcast booth. Double Marcel chops. taking control. That's, that's, that's all you have to say, huh, that's Noel? Right <laughs> for now. Look at over. the dexterity. Beautiful power slam by the dagger. Shook the arena here at JMMS. Marcel, a veteran of the ring, rolling out to take his time. Well, there's no doubt about it. Show tell, is that show time? I said show tell, you know me. Showtime Marcel Williams is a savvy veteran who has earned his stripes in this business. He deserves to be the heavyweight champion. I know, wait, wait, hold on. Showtime's taking his belt right here in front of us. He's taking his belt and he's going home. If say what you will, say what you will, Noah, on how he won the title from Richard Holiday, but he is the champion. He's been champion over 200 days. Well, L Ref, L, L Ref is here. El Ref is signaling, where's the ring announcer? He's going over to Matt to court. El Ref, what is El Ref signaling here, Noel? He's telling Matt to court, Showtime, Marcel Williams is leaving the arena. If, what is Matt to court telling Showtime? Referee El Ref has informed me that if Showtime, Marcel Williams walks out of the ring with that title, and on the count of 10, he will be disqualified and stripped of his title. Wow, El Ref laying it. down the law. Something unheard of. Countouts never lose the titles. El Ref is laying down the law. There is going to be a title change today. Well, Showtime uh, Marcel Williams is beside himself out here. He's disgusted. He doesn't know what he's going to do. He doesn't want to get back in the ring. And Mick Drake's going after Mick Drake him. Is the going after is going him. after him. He's followed up to the locker room. Oh, he misses with the belt. Mick Drake taking over. European uppercut on side, on side of champ, outside the ring. I'm tongue-tied here. All the women love it when Big Daddy's tongue-tied. Like you can't make it up. No. Showtime has dragged. Showtime asking for mercy. Dragged back to the ring by Mick Drake. And look at that, he was laying in wait. He was playing possum. Showtime, as the champion he is, takes over on the dagger. Wait, beautiful belly to belly suplex by Mick Drake, unbelievable. Stand-up maneuver by Drake. Here it is again. Beautiful belly to belly suplex again. What a snap of the hips. Mick knows how to pop his hips and make Marcel go flying right over the top with a belly to belly. Well, you know what I say, Velcro. What a rip off. <laughs> a third one. Belly to belly. Brock Lesnar made me the mayor of Suplex City. I love John Sterling, Mario Mancini's favorite announcer. Back the back and belly to belly here at Paradise Alley. You know what I say, Noel? The first five days after the weekend are the hardest. <laughs> here they are. They're right in front of us. The dagger. Showtime. Right here in front of Showtime us. Showtime playing possum. Marcel Williams is pulling out all the tricks to defend that title and take it home with them to Bridgeport. Beautiful hit on the edge of the ring. El Marcel up taking some time. Taking some time to showcase himself instead of worrying about the task at hand well, the with lower the dagger. Back. Uh, Marcel Williams looks like his lower back is giving him some problems. Mick Drake looks like he's got a left knee problem. Oh wait, beautiful European uppercut outside the ring. Right here in front of us. They're right by WCNX, they're right by John Clark. What's gonna happen here? Mick going for a body slam outside. Oh, hit on the side of the apron. A front there face is. buster on the apron. Wait. There's not much padding on a wrestling ring. There's even less on the edge. Oh wait, Drake face first into the ring apron, into the ring post. Mick right Drake may be busted us. wide open here at Paradise Alley. Mick Drake may be busted open here. We're not sure. He's right in front of us. Showtime's trying to roll back into the ring. Showtime may win. Mick Drake could be concussed right now. Showtime is grabbing, trying to break up the count on him. El Ref, Drake is right here in front of us. He could be concussed. We're not sure. Here comes Drake Showtime. Like he's out on his feet. The right, oh! Shoulder first into the ring post. 
Drake has an old injury to that left shoulder. He's going after it. Marcel did his homework tonight. He is going after something and he's going to exploit every chance he can. Showtime Marcel Williams is going to do whatever he can. Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Into the ring post for a third time. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Well, I thought that's what you said about your relationships, Noel. I don't want to get too crazy here in personal at GoPro Wrestling in Paradise Alley. One of the one of them may actually listen to this. <laughs> Wait, let's get back to the ring. Let's, let's not get distracted here and get back to the ring. This is the championship match, the main event. Drake is back into the ring. Showtime taking over. Putting a boost to the dagger. Marcel showing Mick Drake and this crowd why he's the champion. Listen, I called Vegas, and the odds are three to one for Mick Drake. How do you make the challenger the, uh, the odds on favorite against the champion. I don't like it. I don't like the boys in Vegas. I've watched every single one of Marcel's matches. I haven't seen a single match where he has won clean without some That's not the point, no, That's not the point. He's still the champion. As long he as you retain champion. the belt. Absolutely. Big body slam by the dagger. Mick Drake, that shoulder is obviously hurting. Going high risk. Mick Drake brushing it off. Misses with the elbow. Big, Big boot. boot. I like how we do this. We're almost as good as you, uh, Andrew and I. Don't tell Andy. He may get a little jealous. I don't want to tell Andy. Beautiful front face buster. Listen, I don't want to tell Mancini either. He'll get mad at me. Two count by Showtime. Tell Mancini to keep it in the ring, and we got it on the outside. I got to tell Mancini to keep it in his pants. Never mind keep it in the ring. <laughs> I'm telling everybody's business out there. And look at this. Showtime tying down a nice arm lock, nice arm bar on Mick Drake. Showtime Marcel is going to work on that shoulder while he's also working on the rib cage with those strikes. And L Ref has got his hands full. L Ref was involved in a lot of matches tonight. One of the best referees in the business here, L Ref. And he's putting on the gloves. Why is he putting on the gloves? Who is he, think, OJ Simpson? I think Mick Drake is busted open. He must have quit, Noel. All right, here we go. Mick Drake has been busted open by that shot on the ring post. Mick Drake is bleeding, fans. Here at Diesel Mania 3, Mick Drake has been busted open by the champion. Marcel with a smile on his face. I think he knows what's coming. Showtime is very arrogant and very cocky right now. Very confident Marcel in himself. Marcel coming right in front of us. Mick Drake stops it. Reversal. Marcel, a little taste of his own medicine. Beautiful, Beautiful suplex. Back to belly suplex. Drake Marcel. is no one to be trifled with, Noel. He's in unbelievable shape. He's been in NXT. He's competed against all the top competition. Big shoulder lock. Mick is one of those people. He makes the drives. He makes it all over the country, all over the world. And he misses into the ring for a fourth time. And he lands totally it outside the, the ring. Uh, outside, outside the canvas, outside, on the wood floor, outside, outside the, canvas, the ring. The wood floor, same concept, same difference. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Marcel gets a nice needed break. Noel, but you're right, Noel. This is the fourth time that Mick Drake has been tossed into the ring post. He may be concussed. He may have a separated shoulder. He may have a torn ligament. I don't know how he's doing it. Showtime is waiting in the ring. El Rev is up to an eight count. What's going to happen? Drake's got to get back in the ring. He just made an end before the 10 count. El Rev is waving it off. Oh. He's saying he just made an end. Mick has made it in nine and 15 sixteenths. Look at that, Showtime showing off his frustration, laying in the rights. He's hitting him with a closed fist. El Rev has got to break that up. You can see frustration and anguish and agony setting in on Showtime Marcel Williams, knowing this is his last match in paradise, perhaps as the champion. I think Marcel is getting a little more frustrated and angered at this capacity crowd here at the Joseph Malillo Middle School. You are right about that. Top rope, look at the strength. Whoa. Big power slam by Mick Drake. The strength he caught Showtime mid-air into a power slam, Noel. Showtime's got to be a solid two, what, 250, 240? Well, listen, Showtime is every bit of 230 pounds. But look at Mick Drake holding on to that left forearm. Listen, Drake in a short amount of time here, Noel, has taken an extreme amount of punishment from the champion. El Ref is calling off again. Didn't make it to the 10 count. Both grapplers back to their feet. Big clothesline by Drake. Drake trying to get the blood flowing back to those extremities. Beautiful forearm. Beautiful kip up. Drake is re-energized. He must have had a Red Bull. Big spine breaker. Beautiful reverse atomic drop. You say atomic drop. I say spine breaker. 
Marcel catches him with a kick to the midsection. Oh. Mick retaliates with a beautiful clothesline. Almost a three count, Noel. Almost a new champion here, Paradise Alley. Noel, that clothesline was phenomenal, a la Stan Hansen, a la JBL, a la the lariat that broke Bruno San Martino's neck. Oh wait, Showtime just slapped El Ref. He slapped him, he did it on purpose. I think Mick's telling him, don't disqualify him, don't do it. Mick is telling him that's what he wants. He wants to leave with the title. Break it down. El Ref said no DQ for this. Back elbow. He's giving it back to Marcel. Williams Hoping. tried to get himself disqualified, Noel. What a smart champion he is. He knew he couldn't get this in the bag like that. Beautiful hip toss by Williams. Beautiful neck breaker. Wait, this is it. Cover him, champ. Cover One, him. two, two and three quarters. I almost said it. I almost said put it in the books. I almost said it, Noel. Two and seven eighths. Marcel looking a little upset at El Ref. El Ref said Chiquito. El I Ref thought said that El was Chiquito. three. I think El Ref was a little slow in that count. I see my good friend over there, Jessica Stettinger. <laughs> you can't make it up. Back to the ring here with Noel from GoPro, Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling. Big Daddy, the Guardian of Chaos, having so much fun here on commentary tonight. That's all I do is have fun. That's the name of the game. Nice reversal. Look at his strength on Drake. Mick Drake. Beautiful slam. Here's the pin. He hooks the leg. Listen. Two and seven eighths again. This is like a repeat performance L -Ref, of Crazy Eights. El Ref has his hands full tonight between these two. Well, El Ref has his hands full when he goes to the bathroom too, Noel. I don't want to get too crazy here. I don't want to be too personal. Paul Roma tells me to keep it clean. This is rated PG. I, I was told keep it G rated. You clearly have gone over the line. Story of my life, Noel. Beautiful roll up. Here's Showtime. Here's roll the up. Pin. Couldn't get all of it. I think if Marcel got all of that, he would have had the definite three count. Beautiful maneuver. Going after the arm breaker. Marcel's got to capitalize. Listen, He's if he wants go to for retain the championship, Noel, he has to cover him right now. He has to go for the three count. He has to retain his championship. He's going to take it back to the port. Marcel worrying about the wrong things. Marcel needs to focus on Mick Drake. Marcel needs to shut his mouth and go after the challenger and take this home for the one, two, three. Did you hear what he just said? Showtime just said that he saved this house and then he slapped the taste out of uh, uh, Mick Drake's mouth. Uh-oh, Marcel going high risk. Yeah, but he's used to this. He's used to the high rent district, but he's playing to the crowd. I don't like that. The champion shouldn't play to the crowd. Here he goes. Mick on his rope. feet. No! Beautiful! Unbelievable! McDrake is like Tarzan! Oh! Belly to back! There it is! Here's the pin! One, two, Put three. it in the box! We, we have, have a new champion! champion. We have a we new have champion, champion. McDrake! Here is your winner and the new Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Mick the Dagger Drake! The dagger, aye, Mick aye. Drake, the new Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. He earned it. He deserved it. He's a badass. He should do it. Diesel Media 3, what's going to happen to Showtime? The Showtime is out. To say I'm stunned in utter disbelief, never would have expected Mick Drake to pull out that victory the way he did. Marcel sitting on the edge of the ring apron right now. I don't even think he knows what yeah. happened. I don't know, I don't know who we got. What but. holds the future for Showtime Marcel Williams? Listen, I get it. We're looking at the future of Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling right now, and that's Mick Drake, the dagger, the new heavyweight champion. But what's gonna happen to Showtime? This capacity crowd is on their feet for the dagger, Mick Drake. The crowning of a new era here in Paradise Alley. Well, listen, Noel, I'm gonna be honest. Mick probably should have won it at Crazy Eights at the Mohegan Sun Casino, but it didn't happen. Showtime came out the better man that night, but that's it. Williams has lost the title. He's disappearing from Paradise Alley. Folks, we're back here. Noel from GoPro. Bad News Bob, the Guardian of Chaos Big Daddy, GoPro Wrestling, WCNX Brady. 
Radio, WCNX, Diesel Mania 3, 50 right, Tracy, say something to no. We had Mario Mancini, we raffles. had Big Steve Tracy, we had the Metalland Monster, we had Zachariah Gibbs retain right his title now. tonight, we had House of Pain retain their title tonight, and we had the upset of the night, the dagger Mick Drake taking on Marcel Williams, and the crowning of the new Paradise Alley professional wrestling champion, the dagger Mick Drake. And there he is right behind us, the new Paradise Alley champion, the dagger Mick Drake. It doesn't get any better. Diesel Mania 3, Paradise Alley. Good night, everybody. Drive safe. Ah, we're coming home, baby.